Okay. Okay. Do you want to do a mic check? Yeah. Everybody sound good? Test. I need an apple bone. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Good. Okay. Like, Pam, you might want to move the mic a little closer here. Okay. I can also move me closer. Yeah. You can do one of two things. <laughs> <laughs> or both. Or you guys sound both. great in my ears. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You do too. Thanks. Talking Cheers. Marissa Smith Cheers. is who you see. What a cool combo in here. <laughs> Crack the cold <laughs> water on right. the head. Big talking Bruce Marissa Smith is who you see. What a cool combo in here. Crack the cold water on the air. Kicking back, having a few beers, we're chatting. Pull up your chair, we're all relaxing. Any subject, we never dismiss. Big talking brewskis <laughs> with Marissa Smith. Comedy, sex, relationships, more. Any subject, we got it in store. Big talking brewskis is coming in live. Crack when no bin, Marissa has arrived. Airplane Big talking brewskis with Marissa Smith. Yeah. Hey guys, happy Friday. This is Big Talkin' Brewskies. I'm Marissa Smith. I've got Rodna Daniels with me. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. It's time for Big Talkin' Brewskies. I've got Pamela Ray with me. Hi, I'm excited to be here. Drinking. And I've got Dara Jamal. <laughs> Greetings, folks. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, uh, Rodney, how was your week? Um, um, my week was filled with heartbreak. Heartbreak. Oh, no. Yes, it's horrible. So as you guys know, I've been dating. I have a little boo. Mm. He's nineteen. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he said little boo. Yeah, he's a little boo. He's a little boo. Oh. I'm thirty four. He's a wee bit of a boo. Yeah. You just made me feel so much better. I have a crush and he's he's ten years younger, so yeah. nineteen. I'm like, you got me beat, boo. Yo, right. He's coming over like every other day. We went to the Beyonce concert together. It's been like a great summer. So then Monday night he comes over my apartment right and he's just looking all sad i'm just like what is wrong with you and he's like so my mom found out about a relationship like <laughs> she thinks that like that i'm a girl like she thinks that i'm a female like that's who she has me as in his phone and because she doesn't know yet yeah, your son's gay and so uh she found out she like saw the text messages and she's like you've been at this house like three times a week like what are you doing and so she basically told him that if she does, if he doesn't break it off, she's gonna kick him out and not pay his tuition for next for high school. I'm no, he's in, <laughs> he's in college. He's in tuition for college. Wait, is this? Wait, wait, wait. He, so she thinks that you're a girl. What name does she? What name does he have you saved under? I didn't. I didn't ask that. Okay. So Probably said. Rona. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Rona, that was my first question. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she's mad at that he's in a relationship at all. So uh, no, well, that he's dating. What is he? Have you saved age. like Rona, fifteen years older than me? How does she know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. I don't know. I so mean, yeah. is it in your Something's text messages? Adding up. Yeah, maybe. This, I don't know. He was too honest with his mother. Mm -hmm. right. right, maybe he did he say told like, her too much. That's not told him. her something. Bond is thirty-four. Yeah. Right. I feel like this is just a good time for him to drop the bomb about him being gay. Right, and but Rhonda's gay not, and you're dating someone that's thirty. Why not? That, the bomb's already halfway there. Just drop bomb, the whole thing bomb. on mom. Let her deal with it in one one digestible bite. I think he wants to finish school. Right, because his mom's like he's Jamaican and oh Trinidadian. Yeah. yeah yeah okay he can't. I'm come surprised out. I can't, I didn't get stabbed. Yeah yet yet yet. <laughs> Last part of bumble clot. You stay away from his son. <laughs> <laughs> so are you gonna break it? Are the guys gonna stop? I mean, I guess like I haven't talked to him to since Beyonce Monday. Together. I know. Uh, That's like serious. That's a lot. Yeah, he yeah. didn't even know that I was like I bought the tickets. Like I was like surprised oh. him with Beyonce concert tickets, and he's just like, "Cause you're a good daddy." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm uncomfortable, but it's so good. <laughs> no, right? 
Oh, shit. Well, that is sad. I hope you guys can work it out, but I guess he should finish school. What's he going to school for? Uh, he's, uh, I don't want to say like what school he goes to. No, 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 no yeah, say he, that. Uh, What's he studying? Uh, film. Yeah, he's a film student. Feels like it's in your best interest to maintain a relationship just in case he becomes somebody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe yeah, not exactly. fuck up his life right now. He's 19. You know, maybe. There's wait maybe until this he is, graduates and wait then he until, writes a film about it. Exactly. Wait until he can Ooh. legally walk into a bar with you and then commence the relationship again. Go to his yeah. graduation right. with a giant Legally, because he definitely has a fake ID. It's Le- going to be like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moonlight Brooklyn. <laughs> 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 I don't know this reference, but I feel like I'm supposed to. Oh, yeah, like flute in the Gowanus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they could go to like Coney Island. Yeah. Oh. Even Why like don't I know this reference? Close. What is this reference? Um, so that Moonlight was the film that had won Oscar <laughs> okay. uh, Film of the Year, um, but then they should have known this. That they <laughs> mixed up the like the name with another, and it was about I seen it, but now I know the reference. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so like it was a film about um, like a, a young black a gay man in Miami. Why haven't I seen yeah. this? This sounds like a great. No one told yeah. me about this movie. It is a beautiful movie. Yeah, yeah I watched it. it. Yeah, it was I really good. Seen it. Yeah, really? you haven't seen Moonlight. Yeah, it feels no. so much better now. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can feel much better. <laughs> right, I still haven't seen Wakanda either. I haven't either. I paid for I a really? ticket. Really? Yeah, but I did pay for a ticket opening weekend. But then I got sick, and I also had a show. But I couldn't make it. Like I, I was sick. That so. now, see, seeing I've you seen say that both. makes me feel a whole lot better. Yeah, I don't really like saying it out loud because I feel like someone's gonna try to snatch my black card. But like, that's the truth. Of <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm black. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I don't want to watch all the soul leg. come out of you. Yeah. <laughs> you no longer like fried chicken. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer roasted now. <laughs> Skinless too. <laughs> <laughs> Watermelon's too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I haven't seen it. It's an awful bad. Yeah, I, I, I saw both of those. Um, <laughs> She's like, <laughs> I'm blacker than you. <laughs> <laughs> I know people like to doubt it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I also saw Black Klansman. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. how yeah. was it? It was so good. Was it? Yeah, it was so good. It was really good. I actually, I he did a casting for that where he was looking for people with afros, and yeah. that's literally the only reason that I still have hair because <laughs> I was gonna cut my hair, and someone sent me the casting for that. Yeah, and I walked in, and Spike Lee came up to me, and he was like, uh, he's like, "What's your natural hair color?" Because I had a little more blonde tips, and yeah. I wanted to be like. I don't know, Spike. What do you? What do you? What do these roots say? You know, and I was yeah. like, not not the time to sass. Right. 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 right, not the time to get sassy. And I was like, Brown. He's like, Okay, I'm gonna need you to go back to that. And I got it. Like the email, you got it. Like we want you to be an extra. Oh shit! And then I never heard back from him again. <gasps> what? The fucking emotional roller coaster. I'm mad at them for you I and with yeah. you. Hopefully, I know. But the whole thing about extra work. I don't know. Have you? You've done extra yeah, work before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just such a fucking headache. I know. Yeah. And they you, and, you, and there's no, they, they do. Yeah. And it's just like, and you don't even know if you're actually going to get any scene, scene or anything. any of it yeah. at all. But it was just the emotional, like, you're just telling me how you prefer my hair, but like not using me. You know what I mean? That's like going on a date and being like, I prefer you to shave, but I'm never going to fuck you. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, well, what do you care about this for? I, like, feel, like, I feel like enough happened that you can claim you were in it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my Spike scene. Lee was like, "Yo, you're good. You're in. Change your hair back." Yeah, you could be like, "Yeah, yeah, I was totally there." I like, was there. you didn't see me. Well, they yeah, cut I my was, scene. So. Yeah, they yeah. cut my scene. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with that. So, Pamela, how have you been? Good, busy. Yeah, you've been like running all over the place. I have. Yeah, yeah. So every like, state. Yeah, like you've been on tour, right? I have. I did a two and a half month tour with my one woman show this summer. Oh wow, so that's cool. awesome. Yeah. So, what was the worst place you've been to? Oh. You know, this summer, there wasn't anything I hated. Really? I, like, I did a lot of summer camps. Okay. Specifically, a lot of Jewish summer camps. Okay. Um, and I held back all of the inappropriate jokes about Jew camps. So oh. I was, like, pretty proud of myself. Yeah, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, and without medication, like, just did it. You yeah. Know? Um, there wasn't... No, I, like, loved it. it. I performed for, like, thousands of, like, teens. And they're just, like... 
I, it's either hit or miss with that group. Like, either they think you're funny and they're in it, or they're like, meh, fuck you. Right. Um, yeah. And every group, I was like, oh, the next one's going to suck because this group was great. But right. I, like, loved them. No, that's awesome. I expected that's to be a tough. negative asshole by this point in the year and just right. talking shit about everything. Yeah. But it was, like, it was so fun. I that's, loved them. Yeah. No, that's cool. That's awesome. That's super cool, yeah. It's pretty out of character for me to be this happy about it, though. Right. <laughs> I'm like, wait, like, who are you again? <laughs> so off-brand so for me great. to say good shit right now. So, <laughs> yeah. That means you're like, an awesome summer, though. I am, but I'm, like, emotionally digesting the fact that I have nothing but good stuff to say, you know? Like, like except about, like, I was on, I think, like, 48 different Delta flights this summer. Oh, oh, so people have been like, hey, like, Pam, you've been tweeting at Delta a lot. Because <laughs> it's uh, all they do is hear from me these days. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, well, they need to stop fucking up then. I'm going to get banned from Delta, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it yeah. They're better bad. places They're to be banned from. from like I almost got in a fight at... At, at LaGuardia boarding, like I, I got in an older woman's face <laughs> and almost had a physical altercation. So. Bitch, I don't care that you're 90. I will beat you she up. She totally deserved it. This is amazing. She totally so, like, it. what did she do? Oh, yeah. So, uh, I have Tourette syndrome, which right. is like what my one woman shows about. My like, I used to have it really, really severe, and um, now I just like fucking love it. It adds to my life in so many great ways. But <laughs> uh, sometimes when they call preboarding, I preboard because with a movement disorder, if I'm stuck like in an aisle with people on both sides. Like, I will accidentally molest the shit out of you. Like, I don't want to me too, everyone. Right. So I'll pre-board so I can get into my window seat and, like, curl up in a ball. And they called, which is allowed, legally. So they called pre-boarding, and this woman who was in, waiting in line for first class goes, what the hell are, why do you, wh what are you doing? And I go, excuse me? And she goes, why are you cutting everyone? Oh. And I go, excuse me? And she goes, what makes you think you get to cut the people in first class? And I said, well, they called pre-boarding. And she goes, nothing's wrong with you. Get to the end of the line. Oh, my God. And I oh. looked at her and I stayed calm. And I said, sometimes people have invisible disabilities. And I turned around to keep boarding. And at this point, there's like a good chunk of room between us. And she laughed and she loudly said, this woman's cutting the line. Get to the end. And I was like, I'm actually going on a national. That was the first leg of my tour. And I was like, I'm actually going on a tour with my one-woman show about celebrating differences. I have a movement disorder. And she laughed again. And she was like, get to the end of the line and I, I like flip my head around and I go stop being a bitch and I boarded first time in a while I've like totally like I'm usually pretty good at not taking someone down and I got on the flight and I was like shaking and I told the guy next to me what happened and he was like are you mad that you called her a bitch and I was like no I wish I had gone called meaner her yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> you fucking cut yeah I want to just take her hair and just bash her stupid face in oh my god it's fine uh, I got a photo of her um, and then saw her when we landed in the bathroom and went up to her again and was like was that you that publicly shamed me and she goes, no, uh-uh, no. Shut up. She's yeah. like, she didn't look at me. And I go, it wasn't you that publicly shamed me? And she goes, no. Sounds uh, like a Trump oh, voter. Oh. Yes, seriously. It, it, 100%. She looks like, I mean, seriously. she's like a, like a hoity-toity white bitch yeah. who was older and like diamonds. And uh. bitch, we're all getting there at the same time. You're in first class. Calm down. You're boarding next. And she said no. And I go, good, because that would be a fucking horrible thing to do to somebody. <laughs> I, I wrote, love it. Then I wrote Delta about her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stop selling tickets to these assholes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like I was like, listen, not your fault, but your employees and heard heard all of this and did nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. if I was an employee and I was working like, there at the ticket counter, I'd be like, excuse me. Like, yeah. Except, it's, would they probably you hear it you, all the time? Or except, would yeah. you if it was a first class passenger and someone in the back of the airplane? With oh. I at that point had no status. Yeah, you know, like are they allowed to stick up for someone who isn't in first class? I don't. But know. But like, if you're pre-boarding, like you, I'm assuming you have a pre-boarding pass. No, with Delta you can self-select. Oh really? And I call like um. I, I mean I I fly Delta exclusively at this point unless I have to fly something else. Right. Because I do think their disability policies are better. Right. Well, then mm -hmm. maybe this isn't a way that you can like. Right, since you're already on the radar, you can tell them that they need to have some kind of like, since you've done the research and you know the rules, they need to have something that indicates that you are a allowed. Yeah. 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 So then it's like you have to go and be like, I have a disability. Can I have that yellow packet? Which in other airlines, you have to like go identify yourself and disclose to the gate agent and then you get something. And like that also sucks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I feel like the best bet is everyone just shut your mouth. And if somebody, yeah. somebody pre-boards and they're lying, 
fine. Like their right. life is sad then and that makes them happy. So let it go. Yeah. Right. yeah. We're all I getting see. on the plane anyway. We're all yeah. Yeah. And we all exactly. have our assigned seats. So it's not really like, this, unless it's what? It's Southwest. Southwest. But yeah. that's on you then. Wait, yeah? Southwest doesn't have assigned seats. Uh-huh. No, I think it's just like sit where you. It's push until you get your seat. Yeah. Oh, I would <laughs> fucking hate that. <laughs> I, think they would, I think they would remove the seats if they could. It'd just be like a, a subway in the air. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's basically that, what it is. Yeah, that yeah, and spirit. In spirit wouldn't even give you a floor oh. to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> spirit wouldn't give you a bathroom. No. Or they yeah. charge you to, like, are you peeing or pooping? Are you so peeing or pooping? Yeah. Five dollars. Exactly. Two How many toilet prepared? paper squares do you need? <laughs> yep. A dollar per <laughs> square. Yeah. Yeah. Of this one ply toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't imagine having Just to cardboard. fight for the, can you imagine the line? Like, mm. have you guys flown them before? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, I have. It's not. I've never yeah. done Southwest. No. Oh, mm, yeah, oh it's, no. It's a thing. Because I like almost all. I love the window seats. Like I, I choose that specifically. Love a window. And I would, like to pay I would a little pay, bit more for I would a even seat. pay fifteen dollars yeah. dollars more for the window seat. Yeah. Because I don't have to touch anybody. I could be over here. I could look out, and mm-hmm. it doesn't feel like I'm just. You're cramped. But you're cramped. The middle person. The has middle to person. Deal that's the worst seat. With like. The person in the window needing to go to the bathroom also has to deal with this person. Also, on the you don't other really side. get an armrest. No, yeah. you don't. No, you're and if you have it. Tourette's, everyone's genitals are getting touched, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've learned this the hard way. <laughs> oh shit! Really? Wow. You're like, oh, you've got a chub. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 I do love a window seat. I have, it's funny, my closer is about uh, this woman who asked me to change my seat to, and it was a real story of like this woman asking me to change my seat so that she and her husband could sit together, which I fucking hate. Like, choose your seats when you when Choose you wisely. Them. Yeah, don't just assume that the person's gonna be so nice that they're gonna switch. And at least if you're gonna offer that, like, offer an upgrade. Yes. You know what I mean? Like this, mo- her husband was sitting in the middle, I'm sitting in the middle. You want me to move my stuff and my body so I can get into another middle seat? Nah, bitch. You are the selfish one because you have at least the aisle. Yep. You're not giving up your seat. You're not asking the person next to your husband if you could, you know what I mean? Like, right. If you're going to ask someone to switch, it's got to be a better seat. It's got to be a better seat. Yeah. Be a better seat. Closer yeah. up. Something. Yeah. Or I'm not window. going middle to middle. Give me a window and this isn't even a conversation. I will right. gladly move. Easily. Easily. Give me the aisle. On cool. one of my flights, uh, I was in my seat and it was I had a window. And the guy was like, can you switch with my girlfriend? He had middle. And he goes, can you switch with my girlfriend? She, or I don't remember how it worked, but he was like, she wants to sit with me. And I was like, well, where is she? And she was like, last row middle. Uh-uh. And I was no. like, row eight. And I was like, sorry, I'm not going to move to the... Back row. Back row and then no. have to wait for and everybody like, to fucking get off the plane. Why don't you see if the person next to her wants to exactly. switch? Because he, goes, he doesn't want to sit back and there. And he goes, I don't want to sit in the fucking back. And I was like, are you kidding me? So he then manspreaded so hard as if to be like, well, then I will make your life a miserable. Oh, you should have Tourette's the and fuck out and of him. And that's what I did. I Tourette's the fuck out of the yes. next two hours. I had more Tourette's than I've, I have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like fuck you, motherfucker! I, like, I, I double down on my right right yeah. yeah. It's like flight attendant coming over, peanuts, yeah. drinks. No, I'd like an order of extra Tourette's, please. <laughs> I thought I, I had enough when I got on the rocks. plane, but I did <laughs> a lot of. <laughs> I hissed on airplanes, and I hissed consistently for two and a half hours. It was I committed. <laughs> it was not easy, but I felt good about the outcome. That's <laughs> <laughs> amazing! Uh, wow. So, Dara, how have you been? Ah, <sighs> I've been good. Life be life and man. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm riding this fucking wave I'm and just. And fucking these fuck boys. No, I haven't had sex this year. It's such a sad thing. I know. Oh. The shock in the room. The You're shock in the room. You're so hot that that's offensive. Oh my God. Thank you very You're much welcome. for saying that. No, I was know. like literally in your boat like until like two weeks ago. Really? Oh my God. Yeah, I was like a year and a half. Hope. But like, yeah, it was like a year and a half. I mean, it, it didn't end up working, but. That's okay. I still got it in. How did you break out of that? Because, right, like, okay, a few weeks ago, I was been working out of this, like, getting out of this space of, like, don't fucking talk to me, right? Like, because mm, I've just been really pent up about dudes. Like, it just, okay. too much in my brain about them as, like, entities. I just, I don't get it. I don't like it. So I've been working my way out of that. Like, I'm going to fuck someone, right? I've been working on that for a few weeks. Yeah. And then this guy, like, hugged me at my mic when I was bringing him on and he put his like dick on my thigh and he hugged <gasps> me for way too long. You liked it. I don't like it. 
I don't like, like it. Yeah. Riley right? likes to be molested. Yeah, I did not yeah, like it. I, I said I miss dick and money, and he thought that that was an invitation to rub his dick on me <gasps> at my mic. I do not well, is this like it. Is Elite trying to give you money? Like that's what I'm, I'm like. I said I miss dick and money. You just came with the dick. I need money, <laughs> honey. <laughs> <laughs> like no. Yeah. So now I feel like I've completely shut back down, and I'm like, don't touch <laughs> me again. You're, you're back to be this sexual turtle. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you came out like this. It's okay, I was like, like, "What's happening out here?" Oh, oh, I saw some dick. Oh <laughs> shit! It's like, oh no, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual turtle is a great name for a band. Yeah, it is. It's it. like. <laughs> Like a, or like so a great. really dark slam poet. Yeah. yeah. Right. right? I love that. That is yeah. so good. A sexual, sexual turtle. turtle. Yes. Yeah, because when the turtle finally gets all the way out there, mm-hmm. and like, all the limbs are out and the head is out. It's mm-hmm. like, I'm getting the dick. I'm getting oh, the dick. Oh, shit, I'm getting the dick. Oh, fuck and this. It's a back mushroom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it takes so long to cut Oh, God, I'm going to cut dick. But like <laughs> zero <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> 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 That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> so you're inspiring me. I hope that I'm not stay. I'm not gonna stay in this little black hole too long. But I'm. I'm like at this point, I'll just go the rest of the fucking year. I'm gone eight months. There are four months left. I can do it. I'll get some Christmas dick or something. Maybe some 2019 <laughs> dick. Yeah, but get for some the New last Year's eight dick. years. I'm like, I want balls to be banging my butt. <laughs> on New Year's, you know, not right. like in my butt, but like, like banging the butt, you know, yeah, just yeah. like, like slap slapping it, just slap the, the taint, <laughs> slapping the taint, <laughs> and it's never happened, and I'm hoping 2019 is going to be the year that I'm going to Maybe if you hold out, you'll get better dick. Cheers to that, Pam, that's what I'm hoping for, yes, that's yeah. what I'm hoping for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I also had a, a breakup recently, so what happened was, it's like, I met this guy on Bumble, Mm-hmm. And we went on some of, like, the best dates that I've ever gone on. Like, just, like, really incredible dates. He's, like, really was, like, fun and cool and awesome. Um, But. (laughs) 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 But. So, like, there's a couple of things that were going on. Um, One, he was vegan. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's, 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 you've eaten with me. That's, that's a problem. I, I, but I was getting over it. Um, <laughs> and then, like, when I first met him, he told me that he bought, a, like, this, like, six-bedroom house for his cat. And I thought he was joking until I went to the house. And four of the six bedrooms are cat bedrooms. <gasps> no. And they... No, wait, wait. This isn't, like, a little house that you get for cats that you put inside your house. This is a house? It's well, it, um, he's yeah. got one of those, uh, like, cat houses for the outside cat that he doesn't allow inside the house. That's a two-story cat house that looks like a greenhouse outside. That's for the outside cat. This is a lot of words for holy shit red flags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but um, the inside cat has four bedrooms. Oh, yeah. um, it looks like a fucking, like, like, cat jamboree in there. It's like tunnels and cat beds and scratch posts and like shit that the cat climbs on and like a cat jungle gym and that's like four of the bedrooms i saw something like this on netflix oh it is it's all cat cat rooms he's got one bedroom himself um and then he's got like an office gym uh, but like he was like, oh, you know, like I just bought the six bedroom house, and I'm like, thinking, like, all right, you bought a six bedroom house, and I get there, I'm like, no, you bought a like a a one bedroom house, and then this cat owns and the other <laughs> four. Uh, the cat has its own bathroom. Shut up. The cat has its own bathroom. Is the tub like the litter box? No, the t- there's nothing in the tub. There's like nothing in the bathroom except for the litter box that's in the middle of the floor. <gasps> Like the litter box isn't even in the tub. Oh, like shit. it's just on the floor. Oh, You're what kind of litter box was it? Like a, one of those, like <laughs> it was like one of those no, closed-in ones. They have like different kinds. There's like self-cleaning litter boxes. No, I know. And like, yeah, because when I had a cat, we had like a, like a, I had a dome-shaped like litter box, so like they couldn't spray anything. Yeah, yeah. go inside like the dome. I mean, I would hope yeah. in this six-bedroom house he doesn't have the fucking litter box I have, the plastic one from like Dwayne Reed. I would hope right. he has a very nice. What, what kind I of would thing? think was, that like if you're like gonna spend all this money to customize the house, you'd at least get like the three hundred dollar cat box that cleans itself exactly. out. Exactly. Like, 
Did your yeah. vagina dry up like the Sahara as soon as you walked in? Or did it I had it. Oh, <laughs> so here's the whole thing, right? I was in Dara's situation. Mama was hungry. Oh, okay. Mm, mm-hmm. Mama did was hungry. Did the cats hungry. watch? No. No, the cat <laughs> doesn't like other people. So the cat hid the whole time I was there. But the outside cat liked me. Oh, my God. Um, That's probably why he broke up with you, because the cat hid from you. Yeah. If the cat had played with you, he'd be like, oh, my God, well, she's the one. Well, he technically didn't break up with me. You broke up with him. So he said that, like, so we were only seeing each other once a week. And so then he said that he thought that, like, we were seeing each other too much because he's not like other people. He can't go out every weekend. He needs one full day on the weekend for chores. And one full day on the weekend for rest. And that the last two weekends that we were going out that he felt very stressed out because he couldn't finish all of his chores. He's going to die alone with his cats. Yeah, for sure. The cats are going to eat his face. For, for sure. sure. Yeah. For sure. That's in the foreseeable future. If he's I, not a secret homosexual. Or a secret I, serial killer. Did he have yeah. an extra room you didn't see? I did not There's go into the garage. <laughs> or the basement. Or the basement. Or like no. a room behind the fridge. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. It's the fridge possible. that's just like filled with Sheba mm. cat food. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yeah. It's it's it was actually oranges. It was filled with oranges. Oh, my God. This is even more weird. I don't. <laughs> no protein. So, wait, was the dick worth it? Was the sex worth it? Um. So, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he, I would say that he was very um, orally gifted. Oh, mm. okay. That's mm. always nice. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But it's not the same as getting dick, though. Yeah, I, mean, I want. It some... can be I better, actually. <laughs> it's yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was mm. fine. It was fine. Yeah. It's, it's a it's an appetizer. You know? I agree. Mm. Yeah, like sometimes like I'm gonna need a shrimp cocktails dessert. like real great, but like mm-hmm. well, you can eat that steak though. Right. Like. Right. Like well, he was vegan. He couldn't eat steak. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> See, you guys rolled over that whole one. Like, I feel like that is a problem. Like, I like yeah. to eat meat. Like, if somebody, I would never date a vegan. Never? I was never. A vegetarian, maybe. But, like, a vegan, I feel like you're going to try to turn me. And I feel like every time we go out to eat, you're judging. Because I'm going to order everything with fucking cheese on it. And <laughs> the better. burger with extra cheese and bacon. <laughs> But don't you think that's like how straight guys see you? It's like, oh, I can't go out riding. He's going to try to turn me. Oh, they tell me that all the time. (laughs) Like, I'm scared of you. (laughs) Right. (laughs) One of the bartenders at work was like, yeah, I almost fell that one time. (laughs) 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 Because we were just hanging out, and then I started touching on your ass, and all of a sudden I was just like, yep. (laughs) <laughs> couple more shots bartender <laughs> they need another round over here <laughs> I'm just saying I just try to be like open minded about that kind of stuff about veganism I'm not open minded about that I mean I this as long is, as I'm or do that kid's kosher like mm, it's like I it's, want my bacon with my cheese with because, my pork right here's the thing is that like <laughs> yeah. they say that it's fine at first until you get into a serious relationship, you're in love, you're emotionally involved. Then they start trying to tell you about that burger and where the burger came from and that cheese and where the cheese came from. And I think well, like- I think that what I would probably end up doing is like eating a burger while they're showing it to me. Like, yeah, this is not doing <laughs> this is not anything. anything. Like, it's like I still love a bacon cheeseburger. Like, you can, are you done with your movie yet? Like, oh, then you're having sex and they're like, <laughs> I have to stop. I can smell the burger on you. Yeah, I sm- your your breath smells like death. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Yeah, that's I why like- you eat after the sex. Yeah. <laughs> no, no pre sex. Mainly because you want to feel skinny or naked. Yeah, so like I hold I'm, off on eating. I'm not like you're gonna later. poop during sex. Yeah, that's my yeah. biggest fear. Or getting gassy. But I feel like you would poop more, right? If you're vegan. Because you're just eating, like, all that, like, all natural that fiber. fiber shit. I don't want to find out. I don't know. No, yeah. I feel like that's, I mean, you have a good point about them trying to turn you, but I feel like that's with, like, anything. Like, if someone didn't like smoking, they probably try to get you to stop smoking. If someone was really Christian, they probably did get you to, like, read the book of the Lord, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. It, it's kind of... It's kind of all like that. I True. I have a show at a vegan re- a restaurant. I am not a vegan, but I play one for that show. <laughs> uh, and one of the things that I like, I would hear people talk about vegans, and every time I would be like, insert black 
<laughs> in your sentence. Insert homosexual in your sentence. You know, because it's like, I hate those fucking vegans. Those vegans fucking suck. It's like, what if you were talking about like, <laughs> a black person? I hate those blacks. <laughs> those blacks fucking suck. I'm like, we need to come together, people. We need to, we need to set aside oh, our differences. I was a vegan for almost a year. Really? In high school. I went to boarding school and I read Thoreau. Mm. And I was like, simplify, simplify, simplify. <laughs> and I like, it got a little too deep. And I was like, I'm only going to eat uncooked things. So I think I like lasted for six months of. Oh, you went raw vegan. Yeah, I did. I like wanted to like really try it because I was, I yeah. don't know, looking for something to connect to. It wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> I went vegan for a week. <laughs> so you had the flu? A strong week, yeah. <laughs> a strong week. And I did like the fact that I was getting energy from the food. Like, you know, like I like I had a steak burrito before I got here and I, on the train I was like, oh God, just feeling it digest. But when I was eating vegan food, it was like I'd eat something and I'm like, I could do things now, you know? It was yeah. like, yeah, I was being fueled by the food rather huh. than like I feel like that doesn't last though. No, 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 you gotta you gotta eat again. Because like, I think oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Cause then you're hungry in an hour. Yeah, you, you yeah. gotta eat again. You gotta have a snack ready, maybe some almonds. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> some carrots. Mm. Um let me see here. This so, idea is good. Yeah, the IPA is super How good. How is the brown ale? I like the brown ale. You should try it next. Can right, I be honest that I'm already drunk? Is that better? <laughs> yeah. That is, that is perfect. Hello. No that is perfect. <laughs> so, uh, Pamela. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, what are your thoughts that uh, some studies say that complaining makes you happy? So I read that recent. No, I skimmed it because I was mm -hmm. mad at the title. Yeah. <laughs> Complaining is like my favorite pastime. Like I. <laughs> you can like, bitch. Yeah. Like a hotel. Yeah, I love that you know that. <laughs> a hotel that'll do something shitty and I'll be like, I can't fucking wait to write a letter about this. <laughs> it turns me on. <laughs> like Delta will <laughs> fuck something up and instead of getting an ad, I'll be like, this is going to be so much fun to write a letter about. <laughs> and it's a problem. And I read skimmed this article that was like it like ruins your brain to complain a lot and i was like or <laughs> it's a gift from god but i don't know if jews are different like maybe <sighs> we get pleasure <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i don't know because i complain it i'm a complainer good. but i feel like uh like so my family's from brooklyn so i feel like they've got like culturally jewish elements to oh, them yeah. that i feel like have trickled down <laughs> yeah. Because, like, I had a problem with an Uber driver, and I literally found the email for, like, the CEO of, of Uber, like, I'm Dara. I'm turned on hearing this story. I, and so, like, for, I did all the research to get his email, and then I emailed him with my problem because I had talked to customer service, and they didn't help me. And I'm like, if you guys don't help me, I'm going to email your CEO. And they didn't believe me, and so I did my research, and then he had his personal assistant, like, call me. Um, but, yeah, I... I bitch about a lot like if something is here's my thing i understand that from time to time things are going to go wrong and i like that's just regular shit but like if something goes wrong and i bring to your attention that this went wrong and you make no attempt to fix it now i'm losing my shit yep like uh, you know yeah. i start yeah. nice yeah. come with kindness and if i don't feel like anything happens then I get real excited <laughs> and I get angry. I sometimes for a while wondered if like at four foot six and a half, if like I felt like I had to get angrier to like prove a point. Like a Napoleonic mm. complex. Yeah. Mm. Cause it feels real good. Like something will happen when I'm out with my family and they'll be like, shit, we know Pam's going to like go head to head on this one. <laughs> feels good. Yeah. I wish didn't. Like, I'm <laughs> fine with it. I'm fine. Like, I, I had a problem with Sprint like years and years ago um, that like I had paid my bill and like because like my, my mom and I are on the same plan and so like I paid the bill and like I paid it like a couple of days before and somehow they turned my mom's phone off and like she needed to go to the doctor and like I again CEO lost my shit. I'm still like I literally have like 
I think like a 10% discount off my bill in perpetuity because of like how I lambasted them. As from you this, should. Like, like, yeah. But the interesting thing is like, I'm not hearing complaining from you guys. I'm hearing expressing, sharing, and getting shit done. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> like I'm not, when I hear You're complaining, right. I hear like, I hate it's my so boss. I mean, it's so hot out. Oh my right. god! And the subway. It's like complaining about things that you can't do anything about. I hate that shit. But you guys, you're like finding the wrongs and you're making them right. Right. You're right. You're getting what yeah. you need to do in order to get shit done. That's a whole different we're level. We're not complaining. Right. We're you're just being bitches. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. We're like, doing God's work. Okay? Yeah. But at least like God's work. You're making it. God's you're making it work. happen. Yes. There is nothing wrong with that. Right. I'm not hearing complaining. No, you're right. Because like you guys are making things happen. And my day job, I'm a server. So like I deal with people all the time. And like I'll ask you, hey, two bike check back. How's everything tasting? Oh, it's all right. This kind of looks undercooked, but I'm going to eat it anyways. That's complaining. You're right. And like I literally will take the plate out of your hand. Like, no, you're not actually. Right. Because. Right. Or yeah. they'll wait all the way until the end of the meal. And, like, I'm taking stuff. So how was everything? <sighs> it wasn't that great, actually. <laughs> this was kind of bland, and that was cold. And, like, You're right. bitch, you That's ate everything. Plan. Right. <laughs> everything. And if it was, like, these two women right here, it'd be like, They'll hold let you on, know. let's oh, have this conversation. This, not this is undercooked. I'm going to need you to do something and about it. And I would be it. really nice about it. I'd be, and like, be really so nice about it. This That's is my pain. job. There's That's horrible. Wrong. Let me go. I'm going to go yell at the chef. I'll be right back. Exactly. But at least if you share it with Rodney, Rodney now is in a position where he can do something about it. Thank you. Right. And coming from a customer service standpoint let me know yeah. that i could fix it don't eat all your fucking food and then decide and then just, right. to just complain complain that. That's that's so i it. say something to get shit done and i love the way we've reframed this and this feels like therapy yeah, yeah. there you go yeah, yeah we're I'm not complaining great. we're getting shit done that's why it feels so good absolutely because i hate complaining because i feel like it's not going to do anything but you guys are doing things you was, know what i mean you're getting yeah. shit people are flight. hearing what you're saying i was on a flight this summer and i sat down and there's it uh, there's napkins all shoved in the thing and the woman next to me called the flight attendant she was like what's this and the flight attendant was like oh it's it was leaking on the last passengers and we have a quick turnaround so they shoved napkins up there to stop it well those napkins got wet and by the time we were in the air i was getting brown liquid dripped on me it was a, it was a day trip i had to land and perform and I get there and I had to go buy a $40 shirt from the airport. I went and I just like had to go buy something cute to wear because I brought like pajamas but nothing else cute to perform in. Right. And I emailed Delta and they were like, we'll give you 5,000 miles. And at first I, I was like, no, like at first I was nice. And then I was like, actually, no, like that's not enough. You have to pay for the shirt. Mm -hmm. And I sent them the receipt and I fought it until they paid. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I considered that complaining, but now I don't. Now I just consider it getting Get shit, shit done. done. No, because yeah. you're getting shit done. Because they should block off that those three seats. Yeah. It's the receipts, a section. Yeah. Block that off and don't let anybody sit there. Put people other places. Move yeah. Me to Tell first. Them, move me to first class. <laughs> exactly. Do something Put different. Put more napkins in this Don't bitch. fucking stuff napkins up there like that's gonna fucking solve the problem. Or at least change them like a gauze. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Oh, it's been like a few hours. Like, you know. Exactly. I was going to say it, but then I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I'm uh, kind of mad I went to go and knock I played right. that too polite. I went right there. <laughs> Don't be polite. I played that way too polite. We know each other up <laughs> yeah, in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're all thinking tampon. Just say it. Just say it. I'm Don't. Don't be polite. Matt, my brain didn't go there first. <laughs> I'm a dirty girl. You know, I'm a dirty girl. <laughs> Gauze. That's so safe. That's just a mouth. I like other holes. You know? Damn it. Anyway. Well, we know. It's been a year, so you're not even thinking about these parts. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this bitch hates it, man. My fucking vagina. She hates it. When people think I I'm sleeping like If you someone, go like a whole year, it goes over, right? I'm a virgin. You're back to being a virgin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Clean the up next the time it gets I have in there, virgin be like, pussy to offer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I first had sex after like not hooking up for a, a long, more than a year, mm. a long time, I just called it cleaning up the cobwebs. Oh, I yeah. should call him a guy that I was like not into, and I was like, let's just like get this sh shit back in working order. Like, oh yeah. Let's just <laughs> okay. That's like it's, it's, it's everything is still there. Yeah. 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 Right. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use it as 
like a cup holder. Yeah, it's like <laughs> no other reason. <laughs> but do you still pleasure yourself though? Are I, there vibrators in the mix? I, I when I moved, I can't find any of my vibrators now. <laughs> Amazon, get some I new j- ones. I know, man, bitch, I don't got no money. <laughs> Not to spend on no dick. You know, I'd rather like pay some dude to like shut the fuck up. Like don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Don't say fucking anything. Don't talk. Just fuck get me. Your Here's dick twenty-five dollars and fuck, fuck me. me and get the. Fuck out, because yeah. I'm not trying to see you know how your dinner? day is. I'm not trying to talk to you. I don't care if you're hungry. I don't give a fuck. Like, that's kind of like where I am. See, I'm back in this dark. I hole. love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Pam. And you're not a complainer. You're not a complainer either. Okay, this is complaining. Right? <laughs> No, you're just trying to find no. out how to get your shit done. <laughs> how do you want my shit done? Like, my vagina is so mad. She's like, you don't even use me to pee. Like, <laughs> she's, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then every time someone thinks I'm sleeping with someone, she's like, you're giving this bitch way too much credit. <laughs> 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 she can't even close the deal. <laughs> 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 it's Yo. like I'm here wide open what do you do <laughs> say the wrong shit <laughs> we don't all have to do is not fucking talk <laughs> all you have to do is not fucking talk and it's a closed deal it's a cl- can't fucking open just the smile at him face. and point seriously definitely do. don't tell him you haven't had dick in almost a year like I know cause, cause I then they're just like they, they look at you the like thirst <sighs> oh like, they smell it. They're like, she's and then desperate. they're like, she's desperate. I can talk. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. No, no, you can't. I don't no. want to hear anything I have to say. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I don't tell them until after it's done. Then I'm just like, oh yeah, that was three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a reborn virgin. <laughs> <laughs> it was tight, huh? Mm-hmm. It was just like. Mm-hmm. Then it's like, you know, like four hours later, they're like, are you done yet? No. Like, oh. <laughs> ah. Yo, I might goldfinger the next dude. Like, I might just fucking kill him with my thighs. I'm not like, it's going to be a fucking thing. <laughs> I promise you. Yeah. Uh, one day it will happen. It one will. Day. Thank you. When you're ready. Yeah, I was will. about to say that. When it's up I'm to ready. you. It's not like there's not guys yeah. trying. Yeah, they're just doing it really bad at my mic. They're yeah. just, they're, they're, they're just they're, rubbing they're their they're dick on my thigh at my they mic. They think that's how they get they, to yeah. you. And so obviously it's like not. It's sliding up in my DMs later and be like, hey, how are <laughs> you, you doing? doing? You want to go see a movie? Yeah. Did it feel like a big dick, though? <laughs> I, you know, I wish that I had been of right <laughs> mind. I was so in the moment of like, what the fuck is happening that I didn't even, but I just felt di- like the whole thigh felt dirty. Oh. And my doorman actually <laughs> propositioned me. <laughs> yeah. We just had little <laughs> opposite <laughs> reactions. <laughs> 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 I love dirty dick on my thigh. <laughs> <laughs> You would have loved this moment, Rob. <laughs> you would have loved you it. You want dirty dick anywhere. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give me that dirty dick. Give me that like, give me that DD. DD. <laughs> Tell you about my week. Shut it down. Dirty dick. Right? <laughs> All I'm saying is I'm loving Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Brooklyn now. Yes, I live in Flatbush now. Oh. Let me tell you. The Merry Caribbean man likes to get down. <laughs> really? Yeah. In the DL. Uh huh. Yeah. Where do you find them? I don't Grindr. say it. I guess out loud. Grinder. It was Grinder. Yeah. Yeah. Avi. And on the street though too. Like yeah. They holler on the street in the middle of the day. Oh, like tell them the car story. Yo, I was walking my dog. It was like eleven thirty something like that in the morning, and this guy pulls up in the BMW, and he's like, "Hey, you come here, come here." So I walk up to his car, and he was like, yo, you look good as fuck. And I was like, thanks. And then I ended up giving him a hand job, like, right there outside. So for gay men, this works. Because for women, we're like, shut it the fuck down. Like, yeah. absolutely not. It's Never. like running, running. I don't think in the history of ever, it's worked for a Oh, you think that Allison. one is crazy? Listen to what happened to me, like, a couple of weeks later. Uh, Dude, yeah. Hell. Okay. Yes. So I got off the train, right? I was working. It was, like, maybe 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Uh-huh. And I'm walking from the train to my apartment. And there's this guy kind of walking at the same pace that I'm walking, like kind of like next to me walking, right? I get to my building and I'm walking up to my building. And he's right behind me. I open up the door to the building. He like comes up behind me and I'm thinking like, okay, maybe he knows somebody in the building and he's just coming in like in the building at the same time I am. So I get to the stairs and then he taps me like this. 
He's like, hey, yo, yo, yo. And like, I take my headphones off and I'm like, what's up? He was like, you want some dick? <gasps> Shut up. Yeah. He was like, you want some dick? And I was like, what, really? Like, what? What? And he was like, yeah, like, no, for real. Like, I, I, like, I saw you. Like, I'm trying to, you know, I was trying to see if you want to suck some dick. And I was like, and then he like started to pull his dick out in the stairwell. <gasps> and I was like, no, 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 come up to my apartment. And I gave him the best blow job ever. Like while I was sucking his dick, he was like, yeah, I saw that. I saw your face. And I was just thinking like, damn, I just want a nut on his pretty face. And I was like, all right, your wish has been granted, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, that is amazing. But if yeah. that were a woman and a guy followed me into my apartment and tapped me, I'd be like, oh, this is where I die. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, I had, I I'm going to end up in tiny And he asks you, like, hey, I, do you want some dick? No, what? I know. Like, that's a that's a thing. And I agree with you. That's usually what I would think I would die. But I had a similar experience <gasps> where I was, well, I was going to try to thought it out, okay? I was going to try to try my thought-tastic dress on, okay? <laughs> and I was outside, like, drinking, probably smoking a cigarette outside my apartment, and this dude comes in. There's, like, this deaf dude that lives in my building, and he's hot. So Ooh, I saw him. Hot. Right? Okay. So I saw him, and he's like, you want it? Like, we, I, I can understand him. We have a, <laughs> which I thought clearly meant connection, right? <laughs> uh, so he's like, want to, like, drink upstairs? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And I get upstairs, and he points to this picture, and he's like, types on his phone he's like that's my girlfriend and i'm like wait what wait a minute you have me playing Up with your here. cat in your apartment i'm drinking your girlfriend is out of town and i'm supposed to now fuck you in this apartment and it was one thing when i was gonna sleep with a deaf guy in my apartment but now you're asking me to sleep with a deaf guy in my apartment building who has a girlfriend who can fucking speak like no <laughs> yeah, it's like i'm <laughs> like no, no. that's that's a negative. I am <laughs> stupid for telling you. You keep that to yourself. No. I mean, I was probably going to ask, because he's Dominican, I was going to ask who, like, the four beautiful white girls were in the picture. Mm -hmm. Not his cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Not his cousins. Oh, that's yeah. a Dominican dick, too. I know. And disability dick. Disab Yo, yeah. I, I was shaking off boxes. <laughs> <way. Yeah. laughs> Dominican, no. Disabled, no. Hey. <laughs> I was like, I will learn sign language. <laughs> Fuck me hard. <laughs> Fuck me hard. So I can, yeah. like, you know, mm, 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 use my hands during sex. Because like I've seen minutes of comedy on disability dick. It's the yeah, best no, kind. It, it, it can is. be the best kind. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I was looking forward to it, but I couldn't like do it with a girlfriend. Blind, but now. that's about it. Yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah, exactly. I had um, I had sex with a deaf guy. You had sex well. with a deaf yeah, guy. Yeah. I've only had legally blind. Wait a minute. Like, I've had a smorgasbord of disability dick, but yeah. I have Tourette's, so. <laughs> Are there, like, meetings where you guys meet? Like, how I mean, you... all disabilities, no, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's, like, a bat signal. Like, and everyone <laughs> who's wanting disability dick it's just, like, like runs It's like a blue square. handicap sign <laughs> that's just, like, yeah. the sides of the That's air. actually not a bad idea, like a, dis like a disability I version of Tinder or, like, uh, Finder, yeah, you know? that's not actually what I'm looking for. Oh, I mean, yeah, you're true. But, I mean, like. Like, the support in other, like, I went to, I did a wheelchair charity on Sunday, and there were couples in there, and they were both in wheelchairs, and it was just so beautiful watching them support each other and be yeah. there for each other. The man was feeding her, and it was, it was, and they were playing with their dog. Physical so disabilities beautiful. don't scare me. I have, like, have dated dudes with all kinds of stuff. It's like, there's a guy who asked me, I can't get into this, but there's a guy who asked me out who's autistic, mm -hmm. and we've been, I've had to, like, be, like, please stop contacting me. Like, he showed up to some of my shows. He showed up to like an award I was getting. He like keeps. There was one day I got an email, Facebook message, text, and three phone calls from him. Wait a minute. I, like, I feel like my last. Does he have dark hair? Yeah. <laughs> Is he your stalker too? No, but I did a show with another comedian who said the same thing <gasps> about this dude. And she was like, be careful. Do not like give him any contact information. Ooh. I'll ask you his name after the okay. show. Okay. 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 If okay. it's the same person. Okay. Is yeah. he a bit rotund? No. He's oh, like it's a different build. person. Okay. Um, I forgot where he's from. Maybe like Long Island or something. Oh, then no. Not him. Okay, okay good. But well, then that means I'm not out there. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, ladies. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like my last three boyfriends have been like at minimum on the spectrum. Like we're all a little on the spectrum. I yeah. agree. the The reason that this guy's a no go is because he doesn't understand any sarcasm, and I'm a stand up comic. I speak right. in sarcasm. I'm actually not against dating anyone if we have the right connection. Yeah. But like, if I have to remind myself 
all day, every day. Like, when I'm not doing my one-woman show, I want to, like, turn it off and say whatever the fuck I want. Mm -hmm. Right. If I have a guy who can't pick up on that, then it's going to be a problem. Oh, yes, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. So I'm not an asshole, I swear. Some of the time. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, aren't all comedians a little bit? We are I'm all assholes. Like. I'm definitely an asshole. <laughs> I, like, I like to be a very nice person. Like, I am a nice person. But if you need an asshole... I, I'll be the asshole come out. champion. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing the gold. Yo, yeah. yeah, right. There's no, there's no holding back. If we've reached the line where you need an asshole, then I'm, I'm winning that. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna win the asshole. Yes. Yeah, yes. I totally can be an asshole too. Yeah, it, I, on a daily oh, yeah, basis, I'm like, don't be an asshole, there. <laughs> don't be an asshole, don't be an asshole. You have to fight it back on a daily basis, or do you just like let it rip sometimes? No, I'm like, I'm like old now, so like I feel like, like you know, like I'm at that age that I don't give a fuck anymore. It's like you brought this on yourself. If you know what I mean, no, it's yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not like going out of my way to be an asshole. Like I'm not at that point yet. Like I, I'm gonna have to probably wait another. Like, you're you're at the level where like we're out together and like I could tell something happens. And I'm just like, Maris is gonna be okay. Maris, mm. Maris, Max, Maris, <laughs> and then all of a sudden. They do the wrong thing. It's like, all right, you know, let out the beast. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. You're not going to like me when I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love. I love the friends. The friends around. And when yes. they can recognize that it's about to happen, like, and they're, oh, like, shit. they're like counting it down. And they're like, this person it's has two, more, time, right, two more times to say something. <laughs> fuck, there was that loud. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> They're off to the races. <laughs> Look, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> I have high blood pressure, so I really try not to get angry at much. But And I give everyone three chances. Ooh. I do. I give every yeah, three chances. I like, like did you mean to say what you just said? Or is there another Are way you that to you learn can say from it? it? Yeah. Are we sure we want to take it where we're about to go? Yes! Uh, oh, Raymond! Oh, 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 Pleasure from that <laughs> moment where you're like, fuck yeah, love it okay. because I've oh given you God. three chances. I've given you the out, three of them. Yeah, and, and by that, like, I want to walk this road. So let's walk it together. But don't you also pick yes. your friends a little bit on people who are willing to like jump and just fucking go? Because I hate people who it's been like I've. Like, I've watched someone be shitty to you eight times, and you're just taking it. Like, to be a friend of mine, you have to be someone who's willing to, like, hulk out a little bit. Yeah. See, that's, and I agree with that, but I find that, like, most of the guys that I date, because I don't like, like, super aggressive guys, because then I get into that, like, your kind of mindset is, like, all these guys are, like, doing this or saying that. So, like, when I date a guy, I have to find them completely, like, non-threatening to me. Mm -hmm. But the problem yeah. with that is that, like, they're non-threatening to anybody. And so, like, then I have a problem where, like, if some, like if we're in a restaurant and, and something happens, they're never going to jump in. And I'm just like, oh, mm. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to bite this bullet. All right. Like, mm -hmm. you know. And then it's just like, well, you know, like, I kind of feel really emasculated. I'm like, when you're not acting like a man, yes, you should. Like, yeah. You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. When you're not like, fighting for, like. Yeah. Know, the fa or, the, or, you know, just. I just have a safe. just grow a pair. It's not a manly thing to stand up for yourself. It's an everybody thing. We should right. all fucking be standing up for ourselves. I agree. Okay, that was awesome. I, agree. I actually yeah. really agree yeah. with that. <laughs> you guys, I, yeah. this has like been such like kumbaya like the entire time. I do want to hold hands and spoon with <laughs> all I know. Of you. Right? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I feel ball. like if, if we running. just like got locked in a room with beers, like we could just find how to like give everyone some sort of like hope. Uh, yeah, <laughs> validation. <laughs> validation. We all need it. We all need hope yeah. and validation uh, and a little bit of love, if not a lot. Yeah. Exactly. That's what we all really cool. secretly want. Self respect. Yeah. <laughs> all of that. <laughs> I realize that that's where I messed up at the mic, where I said I miss dick and money, and I'm like, no, I need to start like. Being very specific with my words, you know, like, right? Because that could I just want mean, love, right? I want courting. I want an amazing man. Dick and money, you can smile. find that right Anywhere. now. Anywhere, let's start separating the men from the boys, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, right, let's stop making this separate. <laughs> right? Any boy can give me dick, but only man can give me adventure and love. You know <laughs> what I mean? That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. And that's exactly what I thought I had with this guy. Because the like, cats. Oh my god! It's like, like literally. It was like, great all the way up until it was, like he was like perfect. Like our like, we went on a great first date, and then our second date, like he literally gave me like 
uh, like a pick your own adventure, 10 different like options of things to do, pick three. Oh. Like, you know, yeah. like restaurant, museum, or park, or this, like literally like okay, all I have to clap it up for him because yeah, I love cute. that. That's Bravo like, adorbs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of mad I talked you out of Hamilton, though. Because, like, he wanted to buy tickets to Hamilton. What? The fuck did you talk her out of Hamilton? Oh. Yes, Rodney. Why the fuck did you talk me out of Hamilton? What was, like, Rodney. what was your... Fuck, <laughs> Rodney. <laughs> what was your... Because the tickets were $1,000 each. Well, if he's offering... He's buying six rooms, houses for fucking cats. He clearly has money to spend. And also, every no? Hamilton ticket yeah, negates a cat room. <laughs> oh, you yeah. bought two Hamilton tickets? I'm going to pretend, like, those two cat rooms don't exist. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That was like, before I knew about the cat extra rooms, living rooms. Okay. It's before I knew about the cat rooms. Okay, that's fair. Like, and it was just kind of like, oh, oh, this is going to be your third date. Like, you know. $2,000 is a lot to spend for a third date. However. But if he's willing man, to. If he's willing to. Why, why are we blocking our blessings? For me, it's a lot to spend for him. Maybe it's cheap. Maybe it's a walk in the park for him. Because, like, I was just like, oh, that's, like, a crazy amount of money. Like, let's just, like, get the tickets from the advance. And, like, you don't have to spend, like, $1,000. We ended up going to see Head Over Heels, um, which was a great show if you haven't seen it. But, like, you know, we saw it, like, opening week. It's fine. But it wasn't Hamilton, Rodney. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like... Our s- and then, uh, like our second date, he brought me to this restaurant. Like one of the appetizers was one ninety five. Wow, so like a dollar app- ninety five or a hundred a hundred and ninety five dollars. What was the appetizer? It was like some sort of like seafood kind of um like uh I want to say like a shrimp cocktail of all no. seafoods. Oh. Like it was like it was like lobster, lobster and <laughs> oysters and clams and oh. crab and um, mm. mussels Sounds and so like it's making me very hungry. But <laughs> like yeah. it was, but it was like a, like a like a like a a six tiered. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thing. I'm starting to see the 195. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, like you could have had that, and that was it. No. I mean, you're gonna still be hungry. Yeah, you it's, can't. It's, it's, it's like it's all yeah, like it's chilled lobster, chilled crab. Like you, need you some, know, you're definitely still gonna be hungry. You're gonna need, yeah. yeah. But like when we got to the restaurant, it's on a marina, mm. and the yachts that were like parked in front of the restaurant were taller than the fucking restaurant. So how bad was this cat house? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we need to reevaluate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it no longer feels like a deal breaker to me. Yeah, oh. I, mean, I really like cats. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have a cat. Her name was Fizzy <laughs> Champagne. <laughs> <laughs> she lives in the mess that's in my room. So like. <laughs> How bad were the? Oh, if you like, didn't see a murder room, you know what I mean. Like, let's yeah. pretend like it wasn't there. It's yeah. not like he collects cat heads. You know <laughs> what I mean. He likes cats. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was fine. Like wait, 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 wait. He's a vegan eating lobsters and shit. No, oh, you, you didn't, didn't get that. You didn't get that. I didn't okay. get that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying that, that was, was like it was menu. on the menu. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then like like just like great great dates. Um. But, like, my whole thing was is he was just like, oh, well, we're going to have to, like, I can't see you every week. And I was just like, well, if you want to roll back to, like, once a week or, like, once a month or something like that, then I'm probably going to opt to, like, date other people. And then he was just like, well, you know, like, why don't we be friends? And I'm just like, no, like, I'm not doing that. Well, why don't you want to be friends with him? Because it's a waste of time. Why do we think it's a waste of time? Would he pay for things as friends? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I I feel like I feel like with anyone I'm gonna. No, have he a literally re- said like nothing will change. Like we don't even have to be physical. Like we can just still go out, go to dinner, go to plays, go to concerts, do all the stuff you want to do. But like you know, we'll just be friends. But here's my whole thing: what is the likelihood I'm going to meet another guy that can afford all the same shit? And then I'm constantly going to be comparing that dude hmm. to the guy that can pay for shit. Sh- and then I'm going to be like, oh, well, you know something? I think I love him, but, like, I really miss those appetizers. I mean, that's true. But you, we're not saying by being friends with him that you have to do the Hamilton and the extravagant stuff. Like, you clearly enjoy his company. And there's things that you guys have in common. You don't like it? No. <laughs> uh-uh. You don't like no, it? No, because every fucking time she goes out with him, that's a night that she could have been spending with somebody else. That, that actually, potentially, wants, to that actually wants to, like, put her in a relationship. I mean, relationship yeah. I agree. What I'm... What I, and I... <laughs> Lord knows I don't have the fucking answers. I just have the questions. <laughs> Do any um, of us. No. But I I like to like deal with dudes and have like um 
I told my roommate I'm using guys for like pre-sex energy because guys are never as nice to you after they've inserted and their that's what I found yeah never as nice but there's always I like I want to be friends with my partner right so what does it look like practicing that what does that look like in practice yeah the, he was trying to sell that shit too and here's the thing is that like I like I don't <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you know, (laughs) it's like he would be completely like happy, like doing this shit for like probably the next 10 years. But like, I want a relationship. And then how am I going to explain to a guy like, oh, no, honey, I'm not fucking this guy. Like, he's just a guy that takes me to Broadway shows and, and expensive dinners and Hamilton. It, it's just care? like you know, like oh, it, I get it. It's just it doesn't make any sense to me. And then like, why should he get everything that he wants and I get nothing that I want? Because at the end of the but day, but if you're not giving him any more pussy, go. then it doesn't matter. Right? Well, no, no that because does he matter. doesn't. He doesn't necessarily care about that. He already said that. It, well, that doesn't. He wants someone to spend time with when he wants to. And if you're going to use me like a like a, a sugar baby or an escort, then at least give me give some me pocket some money. Give me some dick at least. Well, I would feel like pocket money pocket and, dick. and dick. Both. Both the things money that I miss. Dick. Money and dick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, we gotta get, and we got to get specific. Court loving someone who wants to spend time with you. Someone who's not going to complain about the fact that they're spending time with you and not doing his fucking chores. I get it. I get that. Money and dick. Money and dick. But yeah. you could get money and dick from him, but you don't want money and dick from him so because you want it from someone else who actually. I I want it from time. someone that actually wants to spend time with right. me. Right. Right. And just, give you dick. Yeah, well, that was the other thing. Was <laughs> so he didn't. Oh, the dick. <laughs> so like, he never tried anything, and like our fifth date, I finally reached out and grabbed <gasps> his hand. Five dates Five for a days. hand. Maybe cool. he's a little asexual. Maybe that's why he's one of those cats. Yeah. I I don't know. And then like the sixth date yeah. was like we kind of, and he said that he thought that he read an article that women aren't comfortable until ten dates. So he th- said that he was waiting for ten dates. Maybe he's ten a little on the dates. spectrum. He's yeah. He's learning how to date from articles. Yeah. Yeah. That actually answers quite a bit for me. Pam. Yeah. You spot on there, girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I said like I feel like my last five boyfriends have all been on the spectrum. Yeah, and then if he's I, not trying to fuck on the first date, <laughs> I'm telling you, he is not a heterosexual man. Something's wrong. <laughs> it's like just saying. <laughs> every heterosexual man I know is trying to fuck immediately. First <laughs> date, if you're willing to fuck, he's trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I mean, I know it's jumping out. I wait. <laughs> 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 I think <laughs> trying on the third is acceptable. But, like, he was like, you know, he's like, I read an article that said 10 dates. I'm just like, was that article d- written by a woman? I don't know. And he's then, intellectual, though. He's making decisions based off of things he read in books and how to date and what to do. And, you know, yeah. and, and how to chase women off. Um, <laughs> what, is that because of the wrong thing? He's not thinking with his dick. How do I chase <laughs> a woman out? He's Buy thinking with his with brain, and that's cats. disgusting. I'm just going to say who uh, does uh, that? Uh, Slay the right. brain. I want to know. No. If it's Robin and <laughs> pants, right, exactly. you know, um, Women think with their brain. Men are supposed to think with their dicks. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's probably why you enjoyed his company so much. You're like, oh, yeah, no, it was super nice. He's thinking with his brain, not his dick. Aww. 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 That's all great. Five dates in, he hasn't touched anything. It's just like, <laughs> oh my god, is this ever gonna happen? And then like finally, and like Mama was hungry, and so like then. <laughs> Finally, when I got to his place, I'm like, Wah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck these cat rooms. Yeah, <laughs> fuck these cat rooms. Get in this cat. Get this cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My friend told me that she's like, you starving your pussy, Dada. She needs to eat. She's from Venezuela. She's like, you starving her. You need to her. She's hungry. <laughs> she is very hungry. She's fucking starving. Yeah, she's like a Somalian She's so hungry. Child. She's shutting up. Yeah, yeah. You, live in, you live in Brooklyn like me. What is the problem? The men, the she fuck said. boys that live in my building, the deaf fuck boy who tried to fuck the. Uh, I, uh, I can't get into it. I don't think we have enough time. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna get very angry, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna complain. Okay, <laughs> there's nothing. Okay, I can do about it. And we're it's not just complaining. gonna be complaining. Circle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's circle. just gonna be complaining. I can't. But um, Rodney, I need you to come out with me in Brooklyn so that he can be my wingman and like just be like him over there, and I'll be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, hey, Daddy, how you doing? 
you're doing? Exactly. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't, talk. <laughs> don't fuck this up for both of us. Okay? Right. Bring me the wing pigeon. <laughs> Bring me. Yes, ma'am. I'll contractually <laughs> obligate them not to speak. Okay. I'll be like, don't fuck this up, you no. moron. It's right. like, sign uh, right here I and you. never right. say and another never, word. Never initial in the four spaces with initials. Your yeah. only job is to fuck. Shut your goddamn mouth. Shut your yeah. fucking mouth. Don't say anything to piss her I off. I know you Unless think you can you're speak using without your mouth without saying words. Yeah, your yeah. tongue, fine. Use your tongue, yes. but not your words. But no words. No vocal Do not box. use your words. Nope. Don't use Shut that larynx. Down. Don't use Damn, it. Damn, that's why the de- even the deaf guy fucked it up. That's the crazy <laughs> part. You would think, no. like, because he can't you hear, know what? which means he can't really speak, like, but he's you still... You need a mute. That's what we need. You need a mute. <laughs> <laughs> or the male sex toys, just the man, the like I need the a sex robot. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not, but I even think... those are programmed to probably be a little misogynistic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Be fun. I mean, I not yeah. literally. No, definitely not. Definitely. It's like <laughs> <laughs> I can just, we imagine. Can just be unfucked. I think a sex robot was like, I just came. I don't care if you did, cause you're just a woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> damn. <laughs> Do you curl up like us? Oh, oh my God. God. I'm done. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm done. Signing off. Nothing for you. Good Make night. me a sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to call you for five days. For five days. <laughs> <laughs> danger will robinson danger she texted me <laughs> oh my god oh my god all right you guys have been so much fun i like we i like feel like we have to like get the back like the two of you back on the same segment okay. again love that yes. like love this that. is like so so, so great, much fun i love You're i just awesome. made my day yeah Thank you. <laughs> yeah so no this I need is like this. awesome i, I love you guys this. yes uh but before you go because we're gonna have to take a quick break before we start the next segment just tell everybody what products you have going on where they can follow you on social media any shows you have coming up next uh pamela you can follow me at pamela comedy on twitter and instagram and my website is pamelacomedy.com and i'm heading back on on tour in a few weeks so uh in a state or jewish community center near you I love it. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over New York stuff as well, but uh, nothing super exciting coming up. So, with New York. Sorry. No, <laughs> I'm lame. But check out PamelaComedy.com. Yeah. You catch her in any other state. Yeah, yes. right? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not Especially bad Wisconsin. Exactly. <laughs> Wisconsin. She's coming in here six you times. I Milwaukee, you. what's up? Yeah. Um, should I go? Yes, uh, uh, Dara Jamont on social media. Chocolate Gem with a J on Instagram. Ooh. I know that mm-hmm. sounds really weird, That's but hot. Oh, thanks. Sexy. <laughs> thanks. Right. You don't get laid with that? No. Uh, no one slides up in my DMs. Said another. Chocolate Gem, not Chocolate Puss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like Jim. Right? I got a boss. I got a I got a work hard for them jewels. <laughs> She wants something? No, I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't uh, want that food was cold. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she don't got that Cuba Ciconian pussy? No, <laughs> motherfucker, I got that diamond <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Clarity, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's very dusty right now, but that's fine. We'll, we'll clear the cobwebs. Uh, dusty gem should be your dusty next Dusty gem! That's <laughs> what <laughs> it's going to change into. Oh, Lord. I, I got to do something about this. Okay. Uh, and then you can catch me at Urban Vegan Kitchen every um, Monday with the vegans that you guys love it may or may not like. Um, but I love them. I think they're great people. Well, they don't have much energy, so you can run from them. <laughs> <laughs> Urban <laughs> Vegan Kitchen. <laughs> <six o'clock. laughs> All right, you guys. This has been Big Talk and Brewskis. We will be right back.
<laughs> is it big enough for you guys? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's very large. It's too big, actually. And I never say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Test. Mic check. One two one two. Hello. 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 Testing. Testing. Test. 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 test testing. Hello, test. Dar, do a mic test. Oh, yeah, I did. Test, test, test. Okay. Test, test, yes, yes. I think I was mistaken for someone else's voice. That was me. Test, test. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we want all the testing. Yeah. And then we need 10 seconds of silence, and that starts now. Airplane mode. Oh, <laughs> it's on your phone. Air bubble. Wanna call a combo in here? Crack a cold wall, we're on the air. Big talk and brewski. Marissa Smith is who you see. Wanna call a combo in here? Crack a cold wall, we're on the air. Kicking back, having a few beers, we're chatting. Pull up your chair, we're all relaxing. Any subject, we never dismiss. Big talk and brewskis with Marissa Smith. Comedy, sex, relationships, war. Any subject, we got it in store. Big talk and brewskis. Is coming in live, crack when open, Marissa has arrived. Big talking brewskis with Marissa Smith. Yeah. Hey guys, happy Friday. This is Big Talking Brewskis. I'm Marissa Smith. We are back with Rodney Daniels. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. It's Big Talking Brewskis time. Tariq Daniels. Hey, hey, hey. Happy to be here. And uh, Sandy, I feel like I always fuck up your last name <laughs> every time. Uh, Chan Simone? Yeah, Chan Simone. Chan Simone. And Dara Jama is back with us, you guys. I couldn't get enough. <laughs> she, she couldn't welcome, leave. Welcome. She's just like, oh, you know, it's, we're, we're, we're just like, Dara, just die, just die. Uh -huh. um, so now, Tariq, how was your week? It was good. I was in the Hamptons last week. Oh, last nice. Last weekend. Okay. Where, where in the Hamptons were you? Uh, Bridge Hampton. Um, my, two of my best friends, they bought a house there, and it was really nice to see how rich people live. <laughs> so then I came back on Monday and... And then you were in a subway. <laughs> <laughs> back to reality. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, did you like go out while you were out there? Like, did you go to the clubs or the restaurants? I didn't really go to the clubs. I, we did go on Friday night because we were celebrating my birthday, which was a month ago. Oh, I, happy belated. Happy belated, yeah. Okay. Thank you. It was my Hampton celebration. Um, I turned 40 in July, so. Ooh, that black don't cry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. July what? 20th. <laughs> okay, so you are a cancer. Yes, I am. Um, so, yeah, we went to, um, I think it's Shelter Island. We went to Vine Street, this oh, restaurant cool. they took us to, and it um, was amazing. And my friends, they just bought they bought a house a year ago, and it's finally ready. So we really stayed in the house. Oh, okay. So it was wonderful. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, Sandy, how have you been? Good. Wait, I know we can swear, but can we talk about, like, illegal activity or not? I mean, I would say allegedly, just in case we don't know who's listening. <laughs> but uh, but listening. If, if, if this were to allegedly have happened, what might have happened? Well, allegedly, I went to San Francisco last week and allegedly went to a dispensary. Oh, nice. That's legal there, though, right? That's, yeah. that's, it's legal that's there. there. Legal. But, oh, you, uh, but you, you if, left but all of the goods in California. I didn't. <laughs> allegedly, 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 allegedly. Well, <laughs> allegedly, how'd you get it back? I was going to like, do that. <laughs> well, how would you have done it if you did do that? Oh my god! Under okay, boob. <laughs> I don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> What's the number go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm more areola than underboob. <laughs> 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 ah, you're coming with me now. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, shit. Oh, um, allegedly, though, um, I have 
It doesn't take that much effort, actually, because it's all legal in San Francisco, but they don't stop you at the airport. I was reading about it. Who knows if this is going to cause any trouble f in the future for me. <laughs> but they don't stop you because the whole thing with the TSA is they're just looking for weapons. So they're not going to look for it. It's already illegal in San Francisco. And even if they catch you with drugs, they can't. It's a local issue. So, like, they would have to be the local police to get you. So, like, it would pretty much shut down the airport because right. everyone's bringing, bringing something. stuff back. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I was thinking, like, I kept trying to rationalize it. I was like, people can have medical marijuana cards and they can have it on them. So, like, they would have to go through a lot of effort to make sure I was the one who was harboring it. Wait. Right. <laughs> so, you, so you have medical marijuana on you right now? I have edibles oh. on me. Do you guys want? Yes, oh. I do. Oh my God. Shit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I totally forgot to bring it up earlier. Allegedly. Oh, yeah, allegedly. I you forgot to are an <laughs> angel. You want to oh. oh. You want to oh. edibles? I know allegedly. how to yes. this. Yes. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, uh, they're really lifesavers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is this about to be Big Talk and Brewski's The Edible Edition? Oh, God. Yes. Wait, are they we doing this? Wait, do you guys want to do this on camera? Seriously, I'm just putting that oh. out there. No. Oh, this God. is all alleged. Yeah, this yeah. Is I'm fine. I'm, I'm down. Yeah. Are or you you're coughing the same cough. I don't give a fuck, okay? I'm in the corner. No way right. oh, me. Also, because in New York, um, I had... They don't... They're not going to arrest you for it. Like, even what, if you I, had it on you, it's not... Well, because okay, I lived in California yeah. for eight years, and so, like, yeah. I don't, I feel like it should be legal everywhere. It's just a, a thing. It totally should I'm be. It should be. Why, even, why New York, of all places, isn't it one of the first places to be legal? The, right. New York is very late about it, but I was just in California, and I was given, gifted some very good bud, and I left. I was like, I ain't traveling with that. But I'm also a black man. Yes, black man. I feel I like yes, black man. Right. I'm not going to lie. That's a whole with other With an thing. Arabic name. Right. Yeah. You were Asian woman with a septum piercing. They're not checking <laughs> you. <laughs> They're not checking for you. I'm not going to lie. I know that this face will get me away with a lot of stuff. Uh, so yes, I, girl. I was like, yeah. if I get stopped, first thing's going to happen, tears. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this face right here, though, I got to be like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> right, we got to watch out. That's when, that's when I bring the gay out. Be careful. You <laughs> it, it, helps, stop, it helps, yo. Yes. Oh, my God, officer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any drugs in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> and if you find some, I'll suck your dick though. I'll suck your <laughs> this one These are mints, right? They're, yes. They're gummies, but they're um blackberry and lemon. I'm and a blackberry. They, I, hey. <laughs> I miss my blackberry. I do. You need a blackberry. I do. I do. I do. I had a lifesaver on the way here, hoping thank it was inevitable, you. but it wasn't. Oh, I'm good, <laughs> but thank you. Sorry, <laughs> just a real lifesaver. <laughs> <laughs> Very disappointing, okay? <laughs> Very. My roommate was like, I think this is lifesaver. I was like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> then I opened it, and I was like, yes, it does. <laughs> and I was like, maybe they're very sophisticated, and they have, like, a lifesaver mold. And she's like, and wrapped it, Dara. And but I was like, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a loser. Oh my God. Marissa, these ones have a little bit of CBD, and they told me that the um, it helps to reduce the um, what's you what's the whole thing? It. I can reduce hear you the, <laughs> the, what's the, the voices. The, yeah, reduce like that. Um, anxiety. What's the negative? Yeah, the anxiety. Paranoia. Yeah. yeah, the paranoia, paranoia of it. Oh. Uh, yeah, because I can't, like, uh, so I'm not good at drugs, you guys. <laughs> like, so, like, I can't Great. smoke. Like, I, like. What happens? So, the when I was, for my 19th birthday, my college roommates got me, like, like pot for my birthday. And so, like, I literally took, like, two poles. I spent the rest of my 19th birthday in my closet. Like, that oh. is just, like, it, so I'm just, like, I, that's not, it's not my cup of tea. The last oh. time I, I smoked was 9-11. Oh. Like, 9-11, 9-11, like, last no, year, 9-11. Like, no, like, the 9-11, because I thought the world was ending, and we were getting invaded, like, oh. so, like, wow. I was just, like, fuck it, like, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't matter. be high if that's gonna happen. Like, if, it, <laughs> <laughs> if this is the point. end, at least I won't feel anything, like. Um, I feel like your experiences have been all, like, bad ones with it, so, like, yeah, in, 
it's all mixed in. You have to have a good experience where you're at home. How and long like, have I been? T- I've been telling her this for the longest time. Like, look, you got to try it again. Yeah. Everybody's. Mm-hmm. It's like the first time you drink. You're gonna like, oh my god, this is disgusting. Yeah. Your body has to get used to it. But marijuana is a great thing. And you it's need a to know, beautiful thing. Amazing. You need to know what strand yeah. you like. I've been smoking weed since I was in the womb. So my mother <laughs> smoked when she named me and when she was pregnant with me. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> amazing. <And I> named <laughs> me. But I don't. I don't really like it in public a lot. Like I, yeah. it's a, a thing I chill then everybody's at home. Because asking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to watch a movie and chill. And I like like I like indica, which means like oh. in the couch. Wait a minute, you do? <laughs> yeah, indica. Oh, because you you like to smoke it in the house. Yeah, and I'll okay. be in the couch. I'll go to sleep. I like yeah, it. I like indicas but, too. Sativas. Yeah. I like sativa because I'm a functional high, and yeah. I like to always be at like a, a level of high, and I like to be out and like talk to people and yeah. not appear high. And that's the t- yeah. Mm-hmm. And indica, like I, I like to wake and bake, and there goes the day with an indica. And with an indica, yeah. Oh my god, oh. you wake up at nine a.m. and smoke a blunt. You're asleep until three. You know, there's the day. There's I love day. waking and baking, though. That's like a I, l- I love it, but I can't do it with indica. I can't do it at all. I know, me even neither. with the sativa, <laughs> I'll be very active still in my bed. Like <laughs> I can get up and do all of this, <laughs> and I can't sleep, but I'm still not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you have to have coffee with it. Like I go to oh, what? Yes. You get coffee, some, coffee, dude, coffee, talk about coffee, it. That shit and is a coffee real. and a wake and bake. Yes. Yo, I'm ready to go. No. Like, I could do everything. I'm ready to conquer the world, and I'm high when I'm doing it. Tackle I'm, the oh, day wow. like a I'll champion. Lose my keys. I'll be a mess. I can't. I, yeah, yeah, I mostly just fall asleep. So, like, it's pretty useless, I feel like, for me. I haven't gotten that, like, where you can get more creative or any of the benefits i <laughs> just like but you gotta it's a, it's a combo you gotta get yeah. the coffee and smoke the weed at the same time yeah you wake and bake when you get up i like i literally it's my thing i walk my dog <laughs> and then i go to dunkin donuts i get a big gulp yeah and i smoke yeah and somebody, i know people and then i'm the ready gym. to do shit and you then go you, yeah gym. i go yeah then i go to the gym i go running there is no way in like, hell i'm <laughs> going i'm smoking, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're smoking that indica never, right. Right. never happens somebody be like i'll give you a thousand dollars and i'm gonna be like yo you know what i didn't i don't need it i can't <laughs> <laughs> right. or then oh, i'm taking i'll walk oh. in the gym and leave <laughs> or then i suck dick yeah i couldn't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a workout that I enjoy. <laughs> right. I just woke, wake and bake. I have my coffee. Now it's time to grind. <laughs> something to grind. Get on a grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Wind and grind. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um. So, Tariq, what are some of your favorite comfort foods? Ooh, macaroni and cheese, bacon, yes. Yes. grits, <gasps> uh, biscuits, bacon, like anything like with bread, like all the things that are bad for you, dessert, yeah. you know, pie, oh so like carrot for, cake. For me, it's definitely macaroni and cheese and sweet potato pie. Ooh, like those yeah. are Ooh. like my two mm. favorite like comfort foods. Um, and then like like bacon, but like I don't feel like bacon is a comfort food as much as it, it's a necessity. Yeah. Like, it, it, Ooh, you, you yeah. know, what I mean? yeah. It's just like I had to have bacon at least once a week because you could oh, put yeah. it on anything and make it better. The other day, I yeah. went to my lo- my local deli and I had like a, a chicken parmesan sandwich, and I told him to put bacon on it, and he Ooh. was like, "What." Yo! Oh, God. Yes, the crunchiness and the sauciness of the bacon Ooh. with the marinara and the mozzarella and the breaded chicken. I'm down to try That's that. Definitely. Yeah. It's I almost like had like a semi guard on. Don't mind, you did. You had a semi in your mouth. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 no, you're right. Bacon does make everything better. Mm. Though. It's so it does. Hard, though. It's good in mac and cheese too. Don't yeah, tell me you're trying to be vegan. I'm yeah, dying. that's what I said. Bacon mac and cheese. Oh Ooh. my god. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. so decadent. You're I try trying to be. I've tried to be vegan for an hour. <gasps> I just want to uh. do it because like animals die and they're mistreated. And then, like, well, I taste the meat. So and I'm are like, oh, people. I, I mean, <laughs> right. Talk but about people, it, Marissa. People aren't going into my mouth. Yeah, they well, are. Uh, I mean, yeah, they, they are. Live. They live you're not ingesting them. Like, Come you're on not now. chewing oh, those. Two. You're not ingesting <laughs> all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but if you love them and they took you to Hamilton, <laughs> <laughs> <You're just> not- <laughs> 
That's hilarious. <laughs> That's my problem with swallowing all those unborn babies. You know what I mean? I just feel like a massacre. Yo, I'm going to fuck your head up right now, too. I'm going to fuck your head up. Oh, Did you know that sperm can live inside of your body for up to seven days? What? No. Yes. So you got little things swimming around, like little parasites? Yeah. Uh. That's like saying gum will be in you for seven years, though. Is that really? Has no, that it's been, really has a thing. Confirmed. This is that is a scientific fact. I don't <laughs> swallow because I want to see the sperm like spread on the chest. Like I like yeah. a water fountain and stuff. Like I like the beauty of it. Or like a I like track. the beauty of it too. But don't you, <laughs> but don't you go in what like after you they're spurning? You're just like ah, just to fuck them up a little bit. <laughs> you should try it. Like, a lo- oh yeah, a little after effect. effect, and then like they they spurt out like oh my god they're coming, and then you put your face back on and just suck them up real good. Oh yeah, they're just like oh oh oh. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh yeah, like, no, it's amazing. It like is it curl the toe curler? It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. But then you swallowed some of it. And now you got sperm inside of you for seven days. For seven days. <laughs> you see my problem. Is, so like I don't like a lot of mess. So the only time I'm like uh <laughs> just like let it out is if it tastes bad and it's weird. Like weird. So you're a swallower. Just for the clean. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the clean up. You can have it. They can come in your mouth and you can keep it there and spit it out somewhere else. Yeah, but, but then that's mad awkward. That's, awkward. that's, that's so, so awkward. I've done it before there, you run to the bathroom. I've never oh. done it. If it's, Hey. I've I'm spit it back out on his chest because he didn't tell me that it was coming. So I was like, oh, well, <laughs> you now get to clean that up. Figure out how you're going to get off this bed. I, with <laughs> Wait, no, have you ever gotten a snowball? What's that? What? That's like when they come in your mouth and they come up and they kiss you and put it back in your mouth. No. What? I don't yes. know. Yes. I'm not a squirter. That's <laughs> what happened to me. I came in this guy's mouth and he was like, you want a snowball? And I was like, what? And he like kissed me and like, it was my own gum. And I was like, oh my God, this is disgusting. I'm a pass. I don't want to pass. I'm it's good. a weird name. I don't want to like, yeah. Uh, try it out. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> It's like, oh, do you want to? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't know what that is. No, I don't want that shit. I do not want Please that no. shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Be like, tell me after. Not. <laughs> no, don't tell me after that you about to fucking kiss me and squirt my over. juices in yeah. my mouth. I'm gonna need to know that now. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Let's go over the terms before we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are there, like, any, like, relationship deal breakers for you, like, snowballs? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, okay, there is something where I feel like every guy I date keeps wanting to have a threesome. Uh, and my, that was my, my 20s were like, sure, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and now I'm like, mm, I'm not into that. I'm not yeah. about that life. Yeah. So, yeah. D- no. Not early yeah. on in the relationship. Maybe later. Yeah, yeah, maybe like, like five like years in. What if you don't yeah. see a future with this guy? It's a little boring. And it could well, just be a good time. <laughs> um, Is that a bad I'm question? I'm not into whatever. Okay. I mean, well, no. If they, if you don't see a future, then fuck it. Yeah, it's a valid yeah, question. That's like extra, I can totally that's extra opportunity. It. Yeah. Because, uh, like, like, I was, like, um, I went on, like, a couple of dates just with this one guy. And I think, like, on... Our first date, he told me, like, that he was into swinging. And, like, I'm just like, ah, like, that's, <laughs> that's yeah, a that's, lot. Yeah, that's more than a threesome. That's, that's like orgies. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Leaving and, the keys and. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I Partner. was just like, this is not. And I'm like, is this something you need? And then he's like, I don't know. I'd like to think I don't. And then, like, I was what, just. What date was it? This was the first date. No. Oh, that's, oh. That's, that's, I'd like to think I don't need to wake and bake, but I do. So he <laughs> needs to swing. Yeah if, he, yeah. yeah. if he told you on the first date, that's priority to him. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And then on the second date, I kind of like revisited the topic and I'm just like, well, you said that you think that you don't need this, but like, you know, like if I was just like, you know, firm handed, like this is not something I'm about. And then he's just like... Well, you know, it's really something I, I wouldn't like to have to forego completely. Oh. Yeah, no. That's, he's just Ooh. trying to get the foot in the door. Like, yeah. Right. Like, Next thing you know, you'll be swinging every yeah. weekend. <laughs> Maritza, what you doing after Big Talk? Swinging. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then you'd have to change the name of the show. To <laughs> and was he a, swinging. Was he a swinger with men and women? 
You know, to be honest with you, like, I didn't even delve into that. that. It was just, like, as soon as I heard swinging, I'm like, wait, he thinks I'm I'm swinging? Like, I'm I'm not doing that. Like, I got so involved in myself that I, like, I never even asked him. Did it's you not 1972. Also, you could have reminded Swinger. That's so... But yeah. I do, <laughs> I do <laughs> like people well, still, I guess, is that like a, like, is it's that a, still a thing? Absolutely a thing. Well, oh, what yeah. do you absolutely. Mean, oh, it'll it always be a thing. Absolutely well, a like, thing. What do you call it now? You still swinging. call it swinging. Yeah. Fucking other uh, people. It is swinging. Uh, but it's I like, like heterosexual couples. Yeah. Right. But I like the fact that he was honest about the first, on the first date. And the, you, it's not something you had to find out later in life. You know what I mean? That's like true. a month in or like years in, you've built a relationship with this man. And then you find out that He's that weekly. To force swinging on yeah. you. Yeah, that <laughs> weekly meeting he has every Saturday night is really, you know. Swinging. Yeah. Swinging. So I can respect his honesty. Yeah. He knows what he, knows what he wants. Yeah. Even though he kind of. Was wishy-washy See, about shit it like that. Like Put it on your profile, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Put yeah. that shit on your profile. <laughs> yeah. Don't get yeah. over here and you trying to do some new shit you didn't say on the profile. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. like, yeah. that was the thing was he asked Could've me what... Could all this extra shit. <laughs> he asked me what my deal breakers were and I said, Polly is a deal breaker for me because I don't believe in that. Like, if I'm going to be Polly, like, why do I need to be in a relationship? I could just be, like, fucking a bunch of dudes. Like, I don't need to be, like, in a relationship for that. And then he's just like, well, my experience of Polly has been very specific. And I was just like, well, what do you mean by very specific? And then he's just like, well, you know, swinging. And I'm like, you're a swinger? Like, you know, like. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, Next. so how many dates did you continue on? <laughs> no, I just went on two. That um. was it. And then I met the cat man. What cat was the cat man? Cat, <laughs> cat man. And he has a house with six rooms for his cats. Yeah. What? Wait, no. I, <laughs> wait, I have one, one cat. One cat. It sounds like a dream. Oh, yeah, one, <laughs> one cat. cat. One cat. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, an outside right. cat, but that cat doesn't go in the house. Yeah, no, he doesn't let that cat. Yeah. So, I had, like, I was dating this guy. He bought it, like... He told me he bought this six-bedroom house for his cat, and I thought he was joking until I went to his house, and this cat has four bedrooms and a bathroom. Yeah. My oh. cat only has one room, and I'm over it. Damn. <laughs> and I get embarrassed when I tell people about that I have a cat, because it's not really sexy for a man <laughs> to have oh. a cat. I love the fact that you have a cat, but I know that... Yeah, Margarita. It, it's not. <gasps> yeah. My Wait. cat's name is Fizzy Champagne! Yeah. Yes, for the alcohol! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite cocktail, uh, and she has green eyes. She's from Spanish Harlem. It's a theme. <laughs> my baby. Really cute. But after my margarita, margarita. But she, she goes to Kitty Heaven, though. It's I won't get another pet. Aww. I think I need. Why? Some time. It's a lot. And my apartment is a decent size, but it's still like. Uh, I don't know. It's worth it. When you I come do love home my baby. She's and like you find, I have a dog, and she's adorable. Yeah, yeah. I, I love. Uh, I'm gonna have a house one day, but for now, no. Would you buy a house for your cat? Fuck no. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, it is. Six I'm buy a house Would you for have me. a cat tree? N- what kind of cat tree? Like the little scratch yeah, like posts? A, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. For more space? No. Yeah, sure. <laughs> a cat no, tree. like literally. So he's got four bedrooms for this cat. And it's like a cat jamboree. So it's <coughs> like he's got like a, like a cat jungle gym in one of the rooms. That's then cool. another room is just like tunnels that like the cat like can like crawl through and then like another room is just like various like height scratch posts so where does he keep the dead bodies of the people that he murders <laughs> he didn't take me in there was he in the last segment insanity that is just yeah, terrifying I've, to I've me. seen I would... videos of people that have like these beautiful homes that do have like little trails for the cats and like it, like it was really cool looking it didn't look crazy one but man, see, yeah, but, there, but see, there's one guy by himself. That's like a family that has like right. a multiple cats, probably. Right. Like, I feel like it's really weird that it's just one, one cat. cat. It's one. And cat. Straight, like, and straight that's men with cats. cats that's weird. Huh? Yeah. Straight men with cat, like a straight man with a cat. And that's just that's kind of weird. If it was his wife and they had three kids and they loved cats and they were rich and they had a mansion and they wanted to like do their cat thing, that's one thing. But for just it just. Homie so and his one, cat. One, uh, and Homie he's and his also cat. Has a, he has an outside cat that he doesn't allow inside that he built a cat house for outside that's two stories that looks like a greenhouse. So the feral cat is looking at the cat in the in-house. So there's a field cat and there's a cat. The house oh, cat. The house talk cat. about it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He set this up. Was this a white man? No, he's Japanese. 
What? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now she you have to like make more sense. Then. Is he right. from Japan or is he? He's from Japan. He moved, moved here. here when he was fifteen. Oh God! I'm this so is another right. level. This is another level that of kind of like made it like more okay. I can but, I can yeah, almost get, get it now a little bit. Only, a, but are you getting it because you're being racist? Or maybe, or like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe, or like, are you just like, oh, well, of course he's Asian. He's gonna be weird. Like, I it's still, like, no, no, no. I'm, I still don't get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing this beautiful house now that's just like architecturally sound, like minimalist, and it, and and he just wants his partner which is the cat to be happy that's what i'm picturing but why can't you think that even if he wasn't japanese margarita yeah. and right. that's the part where i'm questioning why i said maybe right. Right. okay I'm, I'm trying to be very real with myself over here like Cause there was a racist part <laughs> because <laughs> if he was a white guy with blonde hair you'd be like oh my god he's, he's the killer, killer. He's, the killer. Right. he's the killer he's yeah. the killer but in japanese i'm like oh he just cares about nature oh no. right i a still bit. think he's a murderer i just think <laughs> being japanese he's cleaner with the bodies and how he <laughs> gets rid of the blood See, actually no there's killer killer not that many me. like asian serial killers yeah it's killer like, went away from like me a, he's safe as, as fuck like, for me now well, if it was a white dude he collects what dead he was, baby heads. What if he was and black? feeds them to his cat? <laughs> what if he was a black guy with a six bedroom house and I he's also for Republican his cat? And voted for Trump. <laughs> if he was black, I'd be like, oh, so he's a Trump supporter. He <laughs> has a cat fetish. And a secret oh, homosexual. Man. Thank you! That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! That was it. I was like Hates his mother secretly, loves his pussy, <laughs> <laughs> but also loves dick just as much. <laughs> well, apparently that cat's pussy game was strong, you guys, because it got an entire fucking house. Wow. Um, <laughs> you don't have a friend that needs a place to stay, too? Yeah. Six uh, whole bedrooms. Uh, six bedrooms. Um, so, Sandy, are you following uh, Handmaiden's Tale? Can me still, yeah. Well, it's on it's on break now. I just finished season two, but yeah, I was... Did you watch all the way through? I did. At first, I wasn't going to... Like, I started the second season, and then I was like, I don't know if I can handle this. Wait. Did, same. Are you, exact same. And then I did it. Uh, yeah, you had... Because you have to push through. Like, I know their formula, which is like, you yeah. know, they have to like beat you down, beat you mm-hmm. down, beat you down. And then finally, you'll get like some redemption. But it was like, really beat you down in those like first they, few episodes. Yeah. I and cried like almost every episode. It was a lot. What? And friends kept <laughs> talking about it. And I was like, look, you're not going to spoil it completely for me. I'm like, what happens? <laughs> so I had to do it. And I got oh, really drunk. Can... And I watched like four episodes. Oh, shit. And it was just. Oh, my God. I haven't seen the second season yet. I only saw the first just season. Know, just know it's. It's it's, it's, br- it's 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 great. It's, it's very well I done. Th- the acting is just like is oh my god. Is it more oh emotional god. work than the first yes. season? Yeah. If you can believe that, it's more emotionally draining than the first mm. season. Yeah. I haven't and seen any episodes. Watch Tara, it. have you? Uh, I my roommate has been watching it, and because of my like current state where I am with men, I cannot watch him. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, You'll I, never get laid again if I you will watch never. that shit. I think <laughs> I, it will just make me... It will. Tr- I just feel like it's too close to where we possibly could be. Oh, it and, absolutely is. And where we've been. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're like a left turn. Like, we made a right, and then we're two left turns from Handmaid's Tale. So it's very... I, I want to watch it, but... It I is too real. It, it's... I it's saw scary. I saw a comment about it, and someone was like, "I'm not watching this. They're just trying to make white women be runaway slaves." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I thought I thought that for a second, <laughs> and I see where you know the writer was going with that, and kind of like I don't think that's it, her her point was, but I could see why a lot of black people and black women would be like, no, because it it it, it does have that feeling of runaway slaves because they're trying to run away and." What yeah. they're doing to those women were done were done to slaves. Absolutely. Well, yeah. that's the thing is that I, for me, mm, I found it to be more of an equalizing uh, situation because I, you know, like granted, we don't have any in the room right now to represent themselves, whatever. But I feel like, especially right now, for like white women and Trump's America, that they feel like very like well. E- you know, like, I, 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 53% of us can vote for him because, you know, the economy. And, and when you go and you do something and you show them something like The Handmaid's Tale, it's just like, 
N- no, just because you're white doesn't mean that you're safe. You still are a woman, and yeah. that's what mm. makes you vulnerable. It's not your vulnerability doesn't come from your complexion; it comes from your gender. And that I feel like the Handmaiden's Tale, like, um, sometimes uneloquently just like hammers that in. But I feel like because you know, like being like a woman of color, or us being people of color, that like. We already know that. So yeah. like it's it like sometimes it feels like a little extra like, you know, I know. I like I I I know. It, uh, like girl, I definitely get it. Yeah. delved into in yeah. the second season. I don't want to give any spoilers, but it definitely they go they address people who support um that idea and then it it kind of backfires on right. some characters. Right. Also. Which I I feel like is like these like you know, like white women that voted for Trump and then their husbands get deported. Like, I yeah. feel like, you know. Or they think yeah. that they are going to be, have power also and they're going to be reminded that they are a woman. Just and a it's woman. Still a sec- uh, yeah. Yeah. You're, it's a sexist situation and I, corrupt. But, like, I also don't under, I don't know. I guess, like, again, like, there's, they're, they're in here to, like, talk about it. But, like, I don't understand really, like, how they think that their race elevates them above their gender just for the mere fact that the whole reason why suffrage went into place was because white women were upset that black men got the vote before them, which is, like, white men were saying, like, well... I used to own you, but at least you don't have a vagina. <laughs> Go ahead, yes. Like, yes. You know what I mean? It's like, yes. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, it's, and, and now it's just like, well, like, we need to be feminist because, like, no one should be able to call me a slut when I fuck 17 guys in one night. Like, you know, like, I just kind of like. <laughs> I'm like, girl, real. did you enjoy it's, him? It's just like... <laughs> Slut's not a bad word. I'm like, was it good for you? It's like, stop fucking I like bad. saying thought-tastic experiences. <laughs> like, yeah, Ooh. you know. I had a thought-tastic night. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like, stop fucking dudes that call you a slut, and we don't need a movement around it. Like, you know, I don't know. Uh, so, Tariq, do you suffer from insomnia? Oh, my God, yeah. For the last... 12, 10, 12 years I've suffered from it. Oh, wow. It gets better, but I... Okay, so, this is so gross, but I got bed bugs mm. years ago. My my roommate at the time, his boyfriend, he was like, he has bed bugs, and we made fun of him. We're like, ooh, don't let the bed bugs bite. And then we got them, and I was like, it oh, was not shit. funny anymore. Yeah. But we handled it, we got rid of it, but that's that sparked it, because I would wake up. Bugs don't really like my blood, because it's too sweet, but they would oh. be around. Like, oh. I would wake up, my blood's and too sweet. we didn't have an infestation. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as it could be because they came, come and spray, and I found where they were. And then that started it. And then I'm a night person, right? And I will stay up really late. And then it's like I got to go to work in the morning, so I had to start, start taking sleeping pills years ago. Oh. And it, it traumatized ver- you that it, much? Yeah, but I always, you know, it was. It was yeah. And that's why you I on dream that a lot. I dream a lot. So then mm. it's like if I do fall asleep, I'll have intense dreams where I'm running around and it's all this intensity and I wake up and it's like I didn't go to sleep because I was stressing out. Right. Yeah. While you're sleeping. Wow. Yeah. Is that why you smoke indica now? Well, it's funny because I took off the summer from I didn't really buy any weed. I was just like taking some time off and I just didn't want to spend the money and it makes me eat so much. Right. And it and it was a problem with my sleep. I would take my sleeping pill and it still wasn't working. So a couple of weeks ago I bought the indica and now the last two weeks I've been sleeping yeah. wonderfully. And I gotta cool. sleep naked. That's another thing I have to yes. I keep forgetting. Yeah, me yes. too. I yeah, sleep I naked all naked. the time. Uh, I, I have like naked. <laughs> naked. Naked. Yeah, naked. They make Wait, fun of me. Naked. Thing. Well, I sleep better. If I sleep naked, I smoke a little weed, <laughs> and I take my sleeping pill. I've been sleeping. The last two weeks have been great. What so kind I of mattress can't. do you have, though? <laughs> I have a great mattress. That, no, nice it's super bed. important. It's it is. True. I just got to get Simmons Beauty The bed is great. Like, I can take a good nap. Like, I can fall asleep easily. And I can fall asleep. It's just I'll wake up at, like, 2 in the morning and be awake and be pissed. Mm. I want an all-night, non, like, crazy dream night and just feel rested, wake up. I can't sleep naked. Cause, Me like They say it's better for you. I can't do it because, like, I don't like to feel my body touching my body. If that makes any sense. It totally makes sense. I, I don't, don't like it for years. Because, like, and then I feel the sweat in between. I don't get like, that. You know, oh. 
Because like, like I don't yeah like, I don't so understand. Like, <laughs> like for instance, like I don't like to feel my thighs touching my my thighs, like the skin of my thighs. Touching you my sleep thighs. in pants. Like pajama bottoms and a tank top usually, and then I like kind of burrito myself in my blankets. Oh, because like I don't, I don't like to feel my skin touching my skin. It's cold enough for all that in the summer. Yeah. Well, I, I always have a fan or an AC or something. Like yeah. I always have, I have something on, like cool enough so I can do it. Because like if my skin touches my I skin. Can't. Then I get this little layer of sweat in between, and then I'll wake up thinking something's walking on me, and it's just my sweat. (laughs) I mean, I kind (laughs) of get that. I kind of get that, Marissa. But the thing, like, I put uh, stuff like the blanket in between my leg. Like, I always need something in between my thigh, whether it's, like, a man Mm -hmm. or a pillow or, like, a blanket or Mm -hmm. something. So my body's never touching my body, you know? Yeah, like, like... so that's the only reason why I said I don't get that. I I can't sleep in clothing. It's very very. I'm hard. like you. I can't sleep in clothing it's either. It's very hard. Like I just. That's just. I like clothes. I, I don't yeah, like. I, I don't. Do I don't really like. I don't yeah, yay yeah, clothes. Yeah. 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 I have no clothes. Yeah. No clothes. Yeah. No clothes. Yeah. I'm no clothes yeah. now. No clothes. It also makes me so hot. It makes me hot, and that mm-hmm. wakes me up. And I have the AC going too, but it makes it's it's it. I'm I'm feeling and I used to like not sleeping naked if like if my body if I wasn't in shape (laughs) I want to be in shape and look hot so if I felt like hot and shape I would do it but if I feel like chubby like a, a little little flabby like I do now. I didn't want to do it, but wow. now I don't. I know. Wait. Oh my wait, god! Wait, wait. <laughs> mental, don't no no no. I now I'm like fuck it because I sleep so much better. Naked. Yeah no oh. yeah I, I sleep naked. It's with better for sheets. your skin yeah, too. Some sheets and it's like good on yeah. my skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's so better cool. for your skin because your pores also get to breathe mm-hmm. and then yeah. it it it, get, it retains a softness because there's not this oil clogged up from your skin just basically gets to breathe. Yep. Mm. My skin can breathe in the shower. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm washing these pores. <laughs> I, have, I have like a dog that sleeps on the bed and then the cat roams around. Like I just feel like I'm if I'm naked and my, my vagina's like just chilling that like the cat's gonna like jump up oh and like God. attack me. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. or, Sandy, or, or, or lick it with the, the sand oh God, yeah, I, God, I definitely have my cat licking my nipple when I woke up. What? So that's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta learn a swap. Off, you know, <laughs> it's completely inappropriate for my cat to do it, but if this was my boyfriend, it would be p- completely fine. Is it yeah. more inappropriate if it felt nice? No, no, I don't even get. I don't even let it get there. I'm like, no, I know I went to bed, but no one. Who is this? It's <laughs> bad. It's like nipple. Why are yeah. you erect? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Busy champagne. Busy you sh- little scamp. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my exactly. god. Exactly. <laughs> so the edible definitely kicked in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel it. And I haven't felt any of them. I've taken them. I'm like, this yeah, is no, no, like, oh, exactly. sorry, girl. Like, I feel like everybody's looking more chinky. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking oh, around the room. Wait, oh, wait, I know. So what is this? Oh, do you, wait, do you, does it make you more racist? Is that yeah. what you're yeah. ah! <laughs> Fight for the equal rights. Did standard. you say yes. or cheating? Don't cheating. let us cheating. get away with any no, fucked what? up shit today. No, 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 us no, out for no, all no. of it. You could have so, been like, no, nigga, what did you say? Nigga, what? What? We did not be mad. No, no. You're going to be racist. I'm going to be racist. Exactly. Don't let us get away with any of this fucking racist shit because we've been throwing it out. Check us on all of it. But see, here's the whole thing. We're all minorities right here in this room right now. Let me tell you what happened to us when we was walking in the building right now. There was a white man with a Brooks Brothers suit on talking about some, can you give me a few dollars? Can you give me a few dollars? You You should have seen no. Marissa's face was like, that's a no. What? Excuse me? <laughs> was he cracked out of his mind? What Yo, yeah. you are a like, white man in a Trump America world, okay? In a Brooks Brothers suit? Hello. Go fuck yourself. That oh be- my God. And he's just like, um, excuse me, do you have a few dollars? And like, I just was like, 
Uh, oh my what God. happened? Did he lose his wallet? Like, what's going on? He had his book bag. He had his outfit on. Like, it was just, like, literally, no. I think he just was trying to see, like, who would give him money. Like, it just, because, like, like, it was like a social experiment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, exactly. Excuse because, like, me, where are the cameras? <laughs> is this a what would you do situation? <laughs> right. I don't give, <laughs> I don't give <laughs> yeah. dirty white people money. I'm not giving a clean white man money. Okay? That's what's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh, happening. It's oh, not. <laughs> I saw a woman's hands and she was white and her hands looked like mine and I was like, God bless this. Okay, like no dollar for you. But this yeah. man had a suit. I don't touch that no. hand. Yeah, no, it's, like, it's not happening. That's the thing. It's that like. I always check the shoes. Like, if somebody is saying that they're, like, like poor or homeless or whatever, like, I check the shoes because, like, usually they don't, they're don't, they not able to get new shoes often. Even if they can change their shirt or their pants yeah. or whatever. The shoes, because, like, yeah. you know, everybody's got, like, a particular size. You're not going to find your size shoe often. Or if it looks like it's a fresh shoe, but it looks like it's maybe, a, like, two sizes too small or two sizes too big, then I'll be like... All right, you couldn't find your size. Mm-hmm. Like I'll, I'll, I'll start believing your case. Or no shoes. Or no, no shoes. I'm definitely gonna get a dollar. Talk it, about it. it. <laughs> if you got no shoes, but if their feet are ugly, no. well, no. If your feet the look ugly, like shoes, the I'm gonna give you a dollar. Right? Like, fuck. Yeah. They could be dirty, but if they're ugly feet, I don't give them money because I just don't like ugly feet. I mean, I don't either. <laughs> but if you, your feet look like they have soles to them, I'm not like serious. and you real like rubber soles, I need. It's like they need help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you might need something. Yeah. But no, he yeah. had on other, Brooks other, Brothers other shoes. Other than the Brooks Brothers, yeah, though, did he look nice suit. or? Yeah, he had a we had like he had like a suit on. Was and he like... fuckable? No. no, no. He was just like oh, that's a... such a gay thing. Cause I swear, <laughs> like, you thought about it, you were like, oh, of course. <laughs> You look at like oh, some of these homeless guys. You like, damn, I can take, take you home, home and put you in the shower. Like, like, you know what stops me? Scabies. Gabies. <laughs> and I don't invite strangers into my apartment. I don't yeah, even go on grinder and I go on grinder and I'm like, What's Oh, you like me? That's good. And then I'm like, Good night. I don't Is even... scabies like lice? Oh my God. Yes, for the skin. Oh, what is scabies? Uh, I thought that was like polio. I thought that, that was I thought that was it's, like you didn't eat enough vitamin C. No, no, no. It's skin lice. That's why when I hand homeless people dollars, I <laughs> don't. I'm like, wait, skin lice is a thing? Scabies. My, oh my yeah, God. Scabies. Go, go, go I know, but I thought that that went out with polio. I didn't oh, think that that was like a, yeah, I thought that went out with uh, the plague. I think it goes with cleanliness. No, my, my cousin, she has a friend who's a social worker and he sat on this couch of this guy and they went there and he left and he had scabies and it was in his skin. Oh is there bugs in I his had skin? a friend oh, who got scabies. Sorry, I brought that up. Edit that out. Edit that out edit for the fans. Edit no, no, no. You educated people today because that's a real thing. You're making this weave itch. I know. I know. I'm, I'm scratching my back. back. I'm like, oh, oh God. God. My, you're my you're never going to invite me back now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I like no, it's it's informative. Informative. Like stuff it's like informative. informative. I'm thinking about that homeless guy. Oh, I my God. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> snowballed me and <laughs> oh, then you got the scabies from the if snowball. He's, if he's really hot, buy him a beer at the local bar and see if he scratches his skin a oh, little bit. God. And if he doesn't, then take him home. Then take him home, strong. shower him up, let him know. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a good time. I've Just seen some give him a really life hot back. homeless men. Yo, it's New York. They be. <laughs> I'm, I'm Brooklyn sorry. homeless man. You know what so Brooklyn homeless, homeless man. man look like? Okay. Yeah. Homeless? But they were <laughs> fake homeless. They were homeless because they didn't want to stay at their parents' house. So they were in the street and then they started oh. smoking crack. And they were like, hey, do you have any money? Yeah. I was like, no. And I'm like, but I'm like, damn, you're hot. So I lingered a little bit looking oh at it. Oh my God. And then they were like, they took it out and it was not weed. And they were like, <laughs> and they were like, no. And I, I mean, I was, it, I'd already passed, but I was like, Fuck, they're hot. <laughs> you can do better I, than like a hot legit homeless guy. I never know. saw a homeless <laughs> man that I thought was hot. Oh my god, I've been watching Nelson, who works outside my job. Well, he doesn't work outside, but he does sell things. He lives outside. He lives outside. He sells some things. He lives and works outside, and he's always there. And he got a little, you know, he shaved the other day, and he got a little haircut. And he's been buying me ice cream, so I'll charge his phone while I'm in the store. And Nelson's looking a little hotter. I've been right, looking at Nelson, Nelson in the window <laughs> like, maybe you should sleep in a bed tonight, Nelson. I don't know. I think I think you deserve a hot shower. Uh-huh. He's just so nice to me. Nelson might get fucked. I'm not sure. Nelson, <laughs> I, mean, I don't think, has a radio, so he'll never hear this. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you ain't had dick in six months. I, I, I can't believe you haven't done yeah. that already. I know. So, but it's only in the last few weeks that Nelson's been looking good and been buying me ice cream. You know? <laughs> a little miniature Holland, Hagen Dawes. Uh, he it. wants the Hagen Your Dawes. Yes, oh. he does. Oh, my God. That's my favorite. Who needs edibles, you guys? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm high. Uh, it was so, so I just whispered Thank you, high. Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. We allegedly so, had yeah. edibles. Allegedly. So, uh, you're welcome. Allegedly. But, you're welcome, allegedly. But yeah. we need to you. Uh, thank you, allegedly. <laughs> wrap it up. <laughs> 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 wrap it up. Yeah, those were candies. Those were just candies. Yes. Yeah, they're just gummy beers. <laughs> no, I don't have a record. So before we go, <laughs> you guys, just tell everyone what projects you're working on, where they can see you next, and your social media. I'm going to start with you, Tariq. Okay, Untamed, I'm doing um, next Friday night, August 31st. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am um, hosting a burlesque show, mm -hmm. and it's really fun. I get to do some stand-up, and it's burlesque. It's usually black women and um, women of color, um, or not, or and we, everybody. So it's really fun. It's at Wild Cafe. It starts at 7 p.m. Um, you can follow me, Tark Daniels, T-A-R-I-K Daniels, um, on Facebook or uh, Twitter. Nice. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thanks for doing the shows. Oh, anytime. I love it. Sandy. Hey, I have um, two shows at QED. One is um, every second Saturday. It's called The Revolution. It's pretty much open. Um, the whole idea of the show is that it's, uh, you know, essentially no non, non cis men on the show. So, Ooh, wow. yeah. And this next one, we're going to be like donating to a charity. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. And then the third Sunday we have, here's the thing. And that's like a drinking and stand up show. Mm. I love it. Drink and stand up. Love yeah. QED. QED is awesome. I love yeah. QED. Now, I've done the revolution before and that was yeah. like a really fun show. Uh, Darjama. You know I'm just happy to be here for a second segment. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Darjama. Find me where you can. I'm just happy to be here with you. Yeah. Thank you. This has been <laughs> I'm so glad you stayed. It's yeah. yeah the, thank you for having me again. I, 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 bullsh I, I was like, mm, yeah. I can't get enough of big talking brewskis. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Nick Daniels. What's up? I will be hosting Fashionably Funny at the Broadway Comedy Club with the beautiful and talented Marissa. Smith on Friday the 31st at 10 p.m. Uh, you can also catch me every week on this show. Uh, all my handles are Rodney Downs on Facebook, Rodney Downs on Instagram, and I just joined Twitter, so I'm oh. back in there. Dude. I'm going to let you guys know my opinions. So Good follow good. me on Twitter, <laughs> Rodney Daniels. Oh my God. Twitter is oh. forever. Just and Marissa that. Smith. So follow this show on Twitter at Big Talk and Brew. Follow me on Twitter at Marissa Smith. I am also going to be at Broadway Comedy Club on August the 31st for Fashionably Funny. And also at Auto Shrunken Head on September the 1st for Merriment and Mortification. Also check out my other podcast, Blame Storming. And you can follow that on Twitter at The Blame Storm. And remember, you guys, um, Michael Cohen just totally implicated Trump in a uh, campaign finance violation. So let's hope that uh, January 2019 is one with an impeachment. Have a good yes. night. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>